It's the Bob and Tom Show. Cut that, cut that pumpkin face. A family fun activity we all embrace. When the leaves are leaving and the moon's blood red, I got to stab me some pumpkin head. <laughs> <laughs> the blade's as sharp as it can be to perform a pumpkin head me. Pull the lid and the seeds they cake it. I don't think the patient's gonna make it. Cut that, cut that pumpkin face. The family fun activity we all embrace. When the leaves are leaving and the moon's blood red, got to stab me some pumpkin head. <laughs> Cleaning a pumpkin ain't no fun. It's one of those things that must be done. Like checking a bull for prostate knots. You just roll up your sleeve and take off your watch. You had cut that, cut that pumpkin face. The family fun activity we all embrace. When the leaves are leaving and the moon's blood red, I got to stab me some pumpkin head. Ooh, puncture you an nostril, ooh. Pierce me an eyeball, ooh. Slash you an ear hole. Stab me a pie hole. Well, cut that smile any way you want to. The teeth are plea for orthodonture. The mouth cut last after the pumpkin's clean. That way you don't hear the pumpkin scream. Oh, cut that, cut that pumpkin face. The family fun activity we all embrace. When the leaves are leaving and the moon's blood red, I got to stab me some pumpkin head. Got to stab me some pumpkin head. Tis the season, the old pumpkin head. Is that an endearing nickname or an insult? Uh, hey, pumpkin head. I don't think it's good. Yeah. Big, big, uh, funky teeth, <laughs> fat, bulbous head, no hair. You've convinced me. Good morning. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There he is. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. A little bit of Haywood Banks and Pumpkinhead. Uh, what a great song. Pumpkin, pumpkin, uh, and uh, now I can't help but notice that... Um, there's a refrigerator over there. <laughs> yeah, it's big as all outdoors, right? Is, got beer in it? Is, no, is oh. that called a kegerator or something? Because yeah. it's got like, a tap on the top. Yeah, it does. Ah, it uh, that would explain it. Yeah. Explain. But this is not just any kegerator, Tom. It's the Orange Insoles kegerator. That's right. Are we giving that thing away? I, yeah, well, you're going to give it away whether you like it or not. It's going to follow me home, I think. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Let's see, it says... I think I can get it under my coat. Oh, this is nice. This is a share a Halloween memory to win a kegerator from Orange Insoles. Well, let's let's see what this is all about right away. All right. Um, the most embarrassing costume, perhaps? Your favorite haunted house? The time you got sick from eating too much candy? These are just some ideas. If you would like to win this kegerator, describe it for me, Chick McGee. It looks like a... It looks like a dorm fridge. I huh? think we're all uh, familiar uh. with the dorm fridge. I actually have a fridge in, in my home where I keep my beer, my emergency beer, in case I need I need a beer. It's, so it's, about, uh, what, uh, it's what, about three and a half feet tall. Uh, yeah, about three feet tall. And, um, yeah, and it's, it's got uh, an orange insoles logo on the front of it. And a tap on the top. That's right. So this is officially a kegerator. I can't be slowed down by opening the door to my dorm fridge. I need a hole in the top of it <laughs> so I could get the beer right out of the tap. That pretty is pretty awesome. cool. It's so we're giving cool. this thing away. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Enter for a chance to win. Uh, you have uh, to explain uh, how you love Chick. Let me count the ways. Uh, or mm. explain something huh? about uh, Halloween for us. Oh. This is great. Oh. I, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised as I'm staring at this thing. Uh, perfect for the fall. I know we have many, many uh, truck drivers listening to us, and justifiably so. We're a damn fine program. But uh, when I was a kid, before I knew that truck drivers were, well, that's not true. I didn't know what I didn't know what to make of a semi going by my house. So mm. I would hide in my neighbor's apple orchard <laughs> mm -hmm. and hurl apples as the semis would go by. And sometimes I'd hit the back of the uh, the semi. Okay. Nice. It All was right. a great uh, it was a great time. Why are you uh -huh. bringing this up? Yeah. Huh? Does this have a payoff? Well, because it was Halloween and uh, I was being ornery. 
Yeah. No. Yeah. Did you ever do? You ever toilet paper a house or no? Or um, yes. No. Use your finger for something. Uh, <laughs> yes. And a girl. Uh, what? Out in the orchard. Yes. Uh, okay. I, huh? I, 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 it was Halloween. So the larger man. point is you can win a kegerator. We'll feature some of our Halloween classics today, and that certainly is one um, among a couple of uh, Haywood Banks Halloween classics. Can we hear the National Cursing Foundation coming up later? Uh, sure, if that would make you happy. I think that was my first bit that I ever, uh, my voice is ever on. I've always enjoyed that. that um, now, uh, we also have some football scores to get to, and you, you should be in a good mood. Your team, a winner, uh, Ace, similarly. Uh, Same as always. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ace is. Although, Jimmy G, man. He's uh, hurt again. He's yeah. back, uh, back. And, and, and the bad news for Raiders fans is that uh, they don't know when he got hurt. He just, uh, the act of playing quarterback hurt his back. Whoa. Oh. So that's not good so if you're uh, a quarterback. Yeah, well, something obviously happened. Uh, right, something must have happened. Rigorous activity out there in the field. Wrenched his back, Being I guess. pursued by large, scary men. Well, you know, the problem is, too, that uh, Las Vegas wins 21-17 in Vegas over the New England Patriots. That's the, uh, what is that? The, the Patriots now one in five, I think, something like that. Yeah. Man. And uh, the general manager is killing the coach in New England, is the current uh, school of thought. Both uh, they are the same person. Mm -hmm. uh, they want Belichick to give up his general manager uh, duties and just concentrate on coaching. And Robert Kraft has said, more or less, I'm not a, I'm, you guys think I'm scared of firing Bill Belichick. You're wrong. So hmm. I don't know what's going on there. Who knows? Okay. You think we'll live to see Bill Belichick being fired? I don't Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, we, it's time I, for him to retire. I didn't think I'd live to see Robert Kraft getting a handy at a strip ball. So, hey, <laughs> that was a long time ago. He's done the work. <laughs> yes. He's much better now. Love is love. That's right. Are you above a handy? Is that right? <laughs> An over the waistband quickie? Is that what you are? You're too good for it? Uh, they can be quite satisfied. Uh, you damn yeah, right they, they can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I apologize. Sometimes they're satisfied if you give them to yourself. <laughs> sure. Yeah, there's a self pleasure thing. Did I? Right? Love it. Did I mention something about NFL scores? What happened? Right? I, I Am was, I right on this? You are right. Yeah. Uh, last <laughs> night, uh, what was the game last night? Uh, oh, the Buffalo and the Giants. Yeah, the Buffaloes. <laughs> uh, the Bills. Uh, Giants almost won this game, but they didn't. Buffalo 14, Giants 9 last night. But I had New York plus the 14. Mm. I hope you did. Uh, the shoe in 2-2 two and two this week. So, All right. Uh, uh, that's... That's atmospheric <laughs> compared to the uh, the regular the regular uh, scores or the shoe in so far this season. Uh, we had a couple of hockey games last night. Ottawa not in this country and Anaheim winning. And uh, good news for you, Tom. Several new sports have been uh, ratified and they are going to be in the Olympics come 2028 in Los Angeles. It uh, absolutely there was speculation last week, but now the IOC has met and. I'll have the sports that are in for sure coming aren't, up. Aren't they watering it down too much? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. They want people to uh, to watch. But they they can't, there's, then they need to add another week or something. I you, don't know about that. Well, if you add all this stuff, it, it's like a three-ring circus, and uh, you can't focus on any of them. How long is it now? How long does two it weeks. go? Two, two weeks. Two weekends? Three weekends? It's, uh, it's two weeks. It starts on a Friday and okay. ends a uh, week. Uh, well, we'll yeah. find out what those sports are, I gather, coming are up. You, are you a Summer Olympics guy or a Winter Olympics guy? I enjoy guy? them both very you much. You enjoy them both? I do. I certainly do. All right. And Paris is going to be amazing. I, I think the spectacle will be absolutely mind-boggling. Uh, so I look forward to seeing that. And if you're going to Paris for the Olympics, uh, the only uh, French words you need to know <laughs> are, are oh, oh, oh. and that'll get you into a restaurant. <laughs> It'll tell you where the restrooms are. <laughs> Maybe an over the waistband handy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's usable for anything. Oh, and uh, Major League Baseball last night, Texas beating Houston two nothing in Game One of the American League Championship Series. Wow! There you go. Major League Baseball, Tom. We'll have more. Okay, very good, very good. It's all it's all coming up. Uh, well, Christy Lee, give me some previews of the news, please. Uh, well, we have we've always talked about naming things and how tough it is. Now we have an added dimension to that, especially if you have to, uh, have to write emails. We all have email addresses. A lot at work. Some of the shorthand emails are pretty interesting. Mm. That's a very interesting story, and it's yeah. one of those things you would never think of. Never think about. Mm. And but what are the most annoying travel habits in the air? 
taking your shoes off. Yep. Josh. On Josh the airplane. Arnold. I keep my socks on. Oh. And nobody sees anything. They're they none the wiser. You. <laughs> they do not. They I, do. Do, I do not have foot odor. You can, that is your contention. Mm -hmm. Don't awesome. you find that when you land, though, your feet have swollen and you can't get your shoes back on? It's already a little difficult to put my shoes back on. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> whose whose idea was it to start wearing shoes anyway? I mean, your hands are up here and your shoes are way down there. You need one of them in long stick. Shoehorns. Yes, yes. I, all you, of us. Oh, I love those. You, I, yeah, I was, you seem like the kind of guy who would have a, have a shoehorn on the end of a stick. Yeah, I, I, I've seen them. I don't. So you can walk I, up. The I last think thing you do. My grandfather had one. Put your shoes on before, I, I before you go one. to the award ceremony. One. Yeah. Those are very handy, though. Well, <laughs> darling, is the car uh, here yet? Once again, we'll tell you how to win the. Uh, <laughs> got to put my shoes on. How to win the uh, <laughs> the Orange Insoles Kegerator. That sounds like some kind of a monster, the kegerator. But it's a, it's a, it's a. I guess a, a little mini keg fits inside sure. that baby. A full size will fit inside. Really? That. Yeah. There are three sizes that will fit inside that. Thing. No kidding. Mm -hmm. There's, There's lots, lots of stuff. There's a lot to learn there. here. Go to BobandTom.com/contest. Enter for your chance to win. Now you can all be a winner. Everybody can be a winner with Steven Singer Jewelers. Everybody's a winner, baby. And uh, hot chocolate for sure. winner. <laughs> Was that your hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Love it. That's a great song. Winner, baby. My, um, least that's favorite song of all time. What? That's Are you true. kidding me? Oh, come on. Yeah, that's way up there. What not it also Emma? Emily. Oh, yeah. no. Isn't that hot chocolate? I believe in miracles. Oh, that's the one I hate. Yeah. I, I, I would. Where are you from? I love the whole catalog. <laughs> hey, 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 I travel up to 500 miles to see hot chocolate. <laughs> well, it's going to be tough. I believe that guy is deceased. And this is how I hear about it. Uh, I'm happy right. to dance at his grave. Uh, right now, uh, where was I? Oh, I was talking about my friend Steven Singer. And uh, Steven, uh, he, he's, he's a man that likes things, and yet his uh, his uh, website will be found at IHateStevenSinger.com. And I can tell you that Steven hates those lab-grown diamonds so much so that he'll give you one when you buy a real earth-born diamond. You know, the Federal Trade Commission enforces the language used about diamonds when the word diamond is used alone, it can only refer to a real, natural diamond. It's not about some chemical thing made in the laboratory. It's not like a fake Mona Lisa. It's like the real thing. A diamond. Stephen has never sold or will never sell something that has no intrinsic value. To prove it, Stephen continues to give away a free one-carat lab-grown diamond with every purchase of a real, natural, earth-born diamond engagement ring online. Or in his showroom. See what I'm talking about. Look at this array of engagement rings from Steven Singer. Bob and Tom show listeners are too smart to pay for something that you can get for free. Don't forget, by the way, Steven Singer is famous for his upgrade and famous for his shipping and a fast response to you. Find out what I'm talking about. I hate Stevensinger.com is the website. That's I hate Stevensinger.com, the home of real diamonds. Also coming up, uh, an unusual place to get married and um, some interesting things happening in the world of animals as always and a bizarre sex doll story. And oh. more of this. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here yep. Goes. Yep. Believe in miracles. This song's a miracle, baby. Hey, from yeah. You sexy sex man. You sexy sex man. You. Oh god. No. Please stop anything. How about Emma? Oh, oh, this is kind of a sad song. Oh. Emma, Emily. Uh, <laughs> more coming up. This is not the day. Hot chocolate day on the okay. Bob and Tom show. Uh, I know. <laughs> we'll be back with real stuff. This is the Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom. Screen Door Productions presents A Day at Fergler's Hardware.
Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Minimax Big Green Egg. Head to bobandtom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em. And don't miss the Chick McGee Shoe End of the Week, Thursdays on the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. If you irradiate poop, it will be sterile, but it's still poop. You can pick your morning radio show, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. And now an important message from your friends at Frigamall Orthopedic Laboratories. Hi, Brenda. Ready to go jogging? Sorry, Christy. I can't. Didn't you notice I'm limping? What happened? Did you blow a knee out? Well, my knees do hurt. What do you mean? Well, we were on our way home last night, and Bob started feeling romantic, so we pulled down a gravel road. And today, my knees are really killing me. Girlfriend, I've got just the thing for you. They're called Attagirl Knee Pads. With their soft, cushiony padding, you can say goodbye to sore and scraped knees. Attagirl Knee Pads fit right in your purse, so you can take them anywhere. Perfect for a Friday night date or that important job interview. Hey, Brenda, how'd it go last night? Well, my knees feel great, but, uh, <clears throat> do the Attagirl people make lozenges? <laughs> you whore. Attagirl Knee Pads. Order today, and you'll receive a free head helmet. You'll love wearing this stylish tabletop helmet with its flat, level surface, big enough to hold his beer, remote control, and a magazine. Attagirl Knee Pads. Protective goggles sold separately. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey there, Chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. (laughs) There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. Howdy do. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Here's Walt. Hello, Tom. We need a movie review. About... Oh, yeah, what Taylor. What movie did you, you see? You would see Taylor Swift, right? Yeah. Um, was it everything we uh, expected? It's would great. I, I'll tell you what. Were um, you dancing? Um, <laughs> the girls were. It's, um, they're, this is interesting. They, they, uh, the movie theaters and uh, uh, the producers of the movie, they're, they're encouraging people to sing along and dance, mm-hmm. and uh, they were. It was, uh, Just like you were at, at the show. <laughs> you were uh, you were telling me yesterday that there were a couple shots that you still have no idea of how they how they did. Them. I, I'll put it this: there's t- two things to uh, I will point out here. One, um, Taylor Swift is is brilliant, and if if you're not a fan, okay, but if she's a tremendous artist. I'll, and but the interesting thing is the um, I've seen a lot of of um, of documentaries and and rock shows that have been filmed. Mm-hmm. By far the best. They, who, who, the way they did this thing, I can't feel, there'll be a close-up of her face, then there'll be a shot from way back, and you don't see the camera person, t- I don't I don't know how they did it. It's yeah. amazing. Oh. And this was from the L.A. show, so yeah. it was just a couple months ago. Yeah, and, and how they got this thing edited, the sound is great, it's really, really well done, and, and my little girls were losing their minds, they were jumping up and down and dancing. And Number and, one at the box office, no surprise, over the and, weekend. And everybody in the theater was... Uh, Jumping up and down. And I got there a little late. It was kind of confusing. It's a long story, but I got there late. So, and I, so I walked in uh-huh. and I said, Which one is it? And the guy didn't know. So I walked into there 14 oh. theaters. Oh my God. Oh, there's oh, I, there's oh. nothing worse than. Hello? Are you guys in here? Shut <laughs> up! So yeah. I, I'm walking yeah. in, looking around. Right. And I finally, through some texting, found them. But uh, yeah, it's, a, it's really something. It's very, very well done. So the, the uh, Taylor Swift fans will be thrilled. Well, you know, she popped up on Saturday Night Live. I heard. And oh, she did. Yeah, Travis, yeah with her Travis boyfriend. Kelsey was They're there. not dating. There we well, go. Well, they were holding hands and making yeah, out. I, I did uh, see the hand holding Apparently, uh, Swift and Kelsey, uh, the, it's, uh, the dressed in the same clothes as they had when they were at uh, Saturday Night Live. They went to the after party at a place called Catch Steak uh. in New York. Uh, they arrived hand in hand, Ace. But as Ace would say, they're not dating. There it is. All right. Where, where was she at the game last night? He was there. Maybe she oh, wanted. You know, they don't have to be. He went to together uh, all the time. Love. Rehearsal. He watched the uh, the Eagles uh, lose to the Jets last night. He was over there at uh, the Met Life Stadium, all alone. Travis. Yes. All alone. Okay. Uh, but, but, uh, the, the movie's great. We so the... never spent one night apart. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, uh, what's happening at the sports desk? Boy, that's a great question. Uh, here we go. First of all, uh, Major League Baseball playoffs, Jordan Montgomery shut down the Astros, and Leody Tavares homered as the Rangers did just enough against Justin Verlander to get a 2-0 win in the opener of the American League Championship here, Series in Houston. And, and uh, of course, you know who's manager of uh, Texas Rangers. That's Bruce Bochy. <laughs> and if it uh, wasn't for him, uh, they wouldn't be doing quite as well. Uh, NFL action yesterday. Uh, rookie Jake Moody. Ah. Oh. Bless all his uh, teammates. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm going to work he, with Moody today. He missed a 41 yard, missed it. A uh, 41 yard field goal with six seconds left to San Francisco, stunned 19 17 by the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland. And then the Eagles lose to the Jets. So that means what, Tom? That's right. The Miami Dolphins and the coaching staff are down in Florida. Oh, mm -hmm. celebrating. Popping champagne. <laughs> the last two undefeated teams. Is that your Don Shula? <laughs> I've come back from, from the dead to celebrate. Mr. Shula no longer alive to celebrate. <laughs> Bless his heart. Uh, Brees Hall ran for an eight-yard touchdown with 146 remaining. Speaking of Jets and the Eagles. And uh, Tony Adams intercepted Jalen Hurts. And the Jets hold on to shock. The previously undefeated Eagles, uh, 20 to 14. Uh, the Jets appeared on their way to falling to 0-13 in their history against the Eagles. They never beat Philadelphia, but that changed yesterday. Hertz had three picks in that game, Tom. Did you watch any football at all? Yeah, I did. Today, Tom? You did? Really? We watched a rather disappointing game. I won't go into any details. Uh, <clears throat> very sad. Uh, Buffalo Bills coach Sean McDermott expressed relief. Phew. And uh, saying initial tests indicate that Damian Harris is uh, trending in a positive direction. Uh, he was injured yesterday for the Bills, but uh, he's also relieved that the Bills finally uh, came back and beat the Giants last night, 14-9. to nine. Giants It's all for you, ahead. Damian. <laughs> it's all for you. <laughs> and uh, so other winners yesterday, Baltimore, the Bengals beat the uh Seahawks in Cincinnati, Houston, Jacksonville, Miami, Minnesota winning, Washington winning, uh, beating those pesky Falcons at Las Vegas, Detroit, and the Rams also winning. And cricket, Tom. Cricket. Is that cricket? You've heard that saying. I'm not sure if that's cricket. Well, it's now an Olympic sport. Oh. Huh? Cricket, it's official. Also, flag football gets in for the very first time. And this will be... 2028 in okay. Los Angeles. Five sports have been finally added to the 2028... Who's playing Los flag That's what I was going to ask. Is there a league? I'm this telling you internationally, right are they, if I go to India, are they playing flag <laughs> football? I mean, about cricket I get, but... Uh, Tyreek Hill, arguably the fastest man in the NFL. He says he wants a gold medal. I don't think that he will be the outlier. I think there'll be a lot of NFL players who want to go and play flag football. Do you have a problem with that? I, yeah, I do. I, I, the, the Olympics have gotten ridiculous. They're having break dancing. And okay, so what's, so what's next? The square dancing? Well, I've got all the winks. sports. I've got all the sports. If, hang on. Uh, cricket, baseball, football, lacrosse, and squash. Oh, okay. that's well, delicious. That's well. where you uh, step on bugs. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with those stink bugs? Have you seen these? Oh, things? they look like monsters. Yeah. They look like uh, little teeny tiny uh, armored, uh, armored yes. bugs. Yeah. And, and, and when you squish them, they smell bad. And they all want to come inside this time of year, don't they? They yeah. have no defense system, though. They're easy to kill. I've never felt more alive. <laughs> well, speaking of things that stink, we have a very interesting uh, stink story coming up today. Oh. Oh, yes. About what? Well, I'm not going to tell you what it is because then you'll end up ruining it. Something coming out of the booty? Is it uh. that? Is, is it that? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> also, uh, Olympic sports, these are some that you hadn't heard of. Okay. All right. Being at it. Uh, it's called the circus sports. Uh, one man band. <laughs> uh -huh. really? Coming up in 2028. Very, very nice. Plate spinning. Oh. Mm hmm. So I'd love, love that. Yeah, I'd watch that. I, that, that, right. that I would, they have the music and everything. Uh, fire juggling. <laughs> 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 uh, did I say fire juggling? Yep. Mm. Uh, also, they're very excited. Clowning. Just clowning. <laughs> Just All clowning. Right. Will be a sport. <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> is bowling in the Olympics? Um, was it ever? Didn't they try? I don't know. It sounds. I want to say it was. Huh. Remember the the superstars when we were kids, like Jerome Bettis would be bowling 
the running back for the Steelers. And you can find old clips of that. Yeah. Really? I saw, like, Bob Newhart bowling <laughs> against uh, uh, yeah. Paul Williams or something. Oh, I forgot you're our bowler. It was, yeah, like, yeah. It was like Paul Lind and Tony Gwynn. Against... Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, here they come. Newhart like... was great. Oh, we have we some. a good bowler? Yes. Okay, well, here you go. Here's a little bit of a... Uh... There it is. So this will be at the Olympics? Yep. Fire juggling <laughs> and plate spinning. <laughs> They're going to have the lady dangling by her hair, spinning around. Ah. Uh, you know something's funny uh, funny is going on when that is playing. I love that song. <laughs> you, people, what about the name of that number is? People, uh, Shenanigans. I think it's the Sabre Dance? I Russian. Oh, yes. well, I think I believe, you're right. I think so. Yeah. People come rushing in from another room when they hear that. <laughs> sure. Yeah. They've got to see what's yeah. going on. Yeah, what's, what's going, going on? on? <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. That happens. So what are the ones legitimately being added to the Olympics? Oh, dang on it, Tom. You flag let me football. Get away. I mean, I, I didn't know there was a flag football. Flag league. football. Flag football. Doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> no, no. The, it's not like the uh, other thing they're playing in West Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be clear. <laughs> I want to play center. It's flag. <laughs> not again. Yes. Football, <laughs> cricket, what? baseball, softball, lacrosse, and squash. Baseball and softball. Baseball. And softball, two different. Well, sports. that's about time, don't you no, think? No, I kind of do. No. Yeah. No, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I what think, do you mean? Uh, no, it's not. Baseball's been around forever. One of the uh, are they gonna balls. Do, is what, what about Major League Baseball, baseball okay. seasons going on? I don't understand this. Well, they did it with uh, basketball, they're right? Gonna yeah. They're going to take a break and let them go yeah. play baseball. And they do it with hockey country. or softball for their country. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. My money's in the Dominican Republic, and I'll, I'll stand by that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll place my bet right fair, now. Fair bet. You know what? The, and Cuba. Yeah, they're not taking that bet. It's so <laughs> so bound to happen. Uh, I mean, at least at least that's an international sport. Don't you've you? Got, you've got you've got Japan. You've got the Dominican. But I mean, uh, flag football. If you, if, if, I, if I go to if I flag football it's because fun. the Olympics are supposed to be international. It's supposed to be basic sports. It's the, the the Greeks didn't. Do you know how Demetrius, many people? Demetrius, I know you're naked, but put on your flag. We're going to play flag <laughs> football. The... Oh, it's flag. Oh, so I I misread it. <laughs> oh God. Weren't, weren't there uh, like almost seventy thousand people Sunday morning or their afternoon over there in London watch uh, the Jaguars football, yeah. and uh, Baltimore? Yeah, we've already got a great. I kind of like having football at nine thirty in the morning. I love <laughs> getting very up, cool, very yes. cool. watching football at nine thirty. Yeah, love it. Love I gotta it. admit, that was cool. It's an yep. excuse to crack open the mimosas for Christy. Let's all be honest. I don't need an excuse. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Even better. She's a grown ass woman. That's now, right, uh, damn it. You had a request. Uh, what do you want to hear, Mr. Christy? McGee? Yes, uh, I did. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, we'll get something out of you, Pat, in just a second. Oh, I was just kidding. Um, you wanted to hear the. Um, the public service announcement about Halloween. Yes. Um, uh, Featuring me being oh. reported for the very first time. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Oh, I love Halloween and everything about it, you know, the night and candy Esther used to buy for the little goblins. <laughs> and the trick-or-treaters themselves. Why, she'd buy enough candy for the whole darn city, I'll tell you. And every kid within a few blocks from here knew it. Now, they knew they could come to the old Johnson house and be sure to get some really good stuff, you know. Popcorn balls and big candy bars and bubble gum. You know, the best. Trick or treat. Yeah, I haven't been much up for handing out treats the past couple of years because the kids stopped coming by. Right back in the door. I don't know why. Trick, trick or treat. But anyway, this year I'm ready for them again. I got the popcorn balls made. I I just hope they come by. I suppose maybe they just decide to stop coming by since I haven't done it for a while. Oh, well, I'll just sit here and wait to hear if anybody shows up. Old man Johnson had all of Esther's favorite treats ready for him. Passed out and they didn't stop by, huh? Right, that's it. Let's get it. <laughs> and yeah, I guess they're just not coming. I guess they're not going to show up tonight. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll turn in. Almost 7 o'clock. <laughs> I'll just save it for my granddaughter's birthday party. Oh, my if they're coming, God. I thought they would have phoned by now. Boy, it sure is warm in here. Oh, wow. This Halloween season, when the doorbell rings, answer it. <laughs> this message brought to you by the National Halloween Foundation. Oh. NHF. It's no trick that we treat you right.
<laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Poor old guy. Yeah. Can't, hear, can't hear the kids. I'm sure they had some nice candy for him. It's truly a shame. Yeah. Mm. That's your first one? That was my first oh, one. Oh, wow. Really? I think so, yeah. You were sure. barely in it. I was... You sound, oh my God! <laughs> you sound like you in it. You don't sound well, like you're a uh, youngster. Uh, the, the, there are no small small roles. Only <laughs> small actors, and uh, the footing was a little uh, wasn't as sure-footed and, uh, then as it is uh, almost now. You did a nice job. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure. Tom, I... Only four or five people in the building could have done that. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, college football, the rankings are out. Number one, Georgia. Number two, Michigan. Number three, Ohio State. Number four, Florida State. And Washington is uh, number five. Do you watch that Washington-Oregon game? Man, that was a good one. A little bit. That was good. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Ace and I were talking off the air, uh, talking, arguing... Uh, Colorado <laughs> and uh, Stanford. That one goes double overtime. Yeah, great comeback. 46-43, Stanford wins. Oh. And uh, it wasn't over until 2 o'clock a.m. Yeah. Eastern time about. Stanford was down 29 uh, nothing at halftime. 29. Man. Wow. 29 nothing, Tom. Dion, what happened? Well, uh, there's four quarters in a football game. Yeah. Maybe and Dion, Dion said she should, should suit up. And an overtime. <laughs> well, that almost came. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. that was almost worse than the flag thing. <laughs> nope. No. Nope. No, no. no, not even close. Uh, you know, Dion, Dion doesn't have a whole foot on one of his uh, legs. What? Is that right? Yeah, he's missing a toe or something, yeah. Mm. What? He had to have, have a toe cut. Well, yeah. I remember his girlfriend said he was a foot and a half. <laughs> Let mom <laughs> handle that. <laughs> I sent him an email. I bet I can outrun you now. Yeah. That's what I told him. <laughs> Mr. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, Coming so. up, we have some exciting <laughs> world records. Uh, a couple quick things. We are currently in week six. It will be completed this evening, week six of the NFL season. And uh, last week's week five winner was Mr. Corey Cravey. What did he win? Well, Corey Cravey won himself the beautiful Big Green Egg Mini Max. Ain't that Cravey? <laughs> we got one at stake this week. See how you do. And then you can get, you can already enter for week seven right now. Just all you got to do is pick the winners. Speaking of contests, while you're, uh, moseying around bobandtom.com slash contest. We got a brand new one right behind Chick, uh, kind of over there by Ace in the room, is a, what Chick has described as a, as a dorm fridge. It's about a three foot high fridge. Apparently it holds three different sizes of kegs has a built-in tap on top. It oh, is yeah. called a kegerator. That's right. It's the Orange Insoles kegerator, and you can win this beauty by uh, telling us maybe uh, a, a good Halloween story, your favorite costume, your favorite haunted house, the time you got sick from too much candy. What happened? We want to hear about it. BobandTom.com slash contest to win the kegerator. This is very exciting. Tell me a, a little bit more about the kegerator, Chick. I, I, well, uh, you uh, get the kegerator. Yep. It, it keeps your keg cold. And then, uh, oddly enough, it's brought to us by uh, orange insoles. But I would think the first thing you would do is kick your shoes off and, and sit right there by the kegerator. <laughs> and just reach over. And yeah, but you need to have your, tap your, beer. your sure. shoes on and your orange insoles in to walk to the uh, store. To, sure. Did we put it? This does not come with the beer. No. Now you're you're in a hole. But with this, you can have fresh beer on tap whenever you like. Another department. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Do they make kegs of anything else? Sure. You can get kegs of root beer. Birch yeah. beer. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Delicious. You know, and they don't make just kegs. They make balls. Uh, beer balls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that? right. Yeah. yeah. I remember those, yeah. Balls. Yeah, beer balls sounds like something you'd have I got, on a... I got beer balls. Uh, you don't want have that. A, have it a Monday morning yeah. after a really long... Uh, that was a rough game, uh, I've got beer balls. Or, hey, you want to jump over that campfire? No, nah, I need a couple more. I don't have my beer balls. <laughs> I don't have my beer balls yet. <laughs> These are all great ideas. Hey, right you want now, a waste man handy? It. No, I got beer balls. Um, uh, we have to uh, move forward. Uh, it'd, it'd go uh, waste. Coming up, uh, coming up, we have um, uh, a cool world record. Uh, an old man does something really cool. Is it about flag football? No, it's interesting. Uh, um, right now, I want to talk about the fall season because I love seasonality, getting the right thing at the right time of year. And HelloFresh is very much aware of that in the world of food. You want to get uh, fresh ingredients, of course. That's what HelloFresh is all about. And you uh, want to save yourself a lot of time because we're so busy in the fall. HelloFresh is the number one meal kit 
in America. And right now you can get 50% off. I'll tell you how in just a second. First of all, I want to tell you what HelloFresh is. Like I said, it's a meal kit. They do the shopping. They do the measuring. They send you the kit. You put it together and you've got wonderful gourmet meals, sometimes in just 15 minutes with their all new quick and easy options. More than 40 options every week. Christy, what are you working on over there? Oh, this is a good one. Mozzarella crusted chicken with blistered tomatoes and potato wedges. I didn't know how to blister a tomato. Do you know how to do that? I learned with HelloFresh. It's right there on the card. I want to Easy to do. Like a blister in the sun. <laughs> this I is a blistered tomato, but on. very yummy, and you're going to love it. It's easy. Six easy steps, and you've got a wonderful meal. All right, so save yourself a ton of time, and uh, you don't have to wander around the grocery store looking because HelloFresh has done all the work for you, and it's about 25% less expensive than takeout. So join America's number one meal kit today. Get 50% off plus free shipping with the code 50BTSHOW. That's HelloFresh. Dot com slash 50 BT show. Once again, the code 50 50 BT show. HelloFresh.com slash 50 BT show. Coming up, we have all kinds of delights, including sporks. In the news, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email, Bob and Tom at Bob and Tom dot com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, we've got another great opportunity for you to win something free here at the Bob and Tom. By the way, parents, if you have kids and you have the minivan, make sure there's at least two TV screens in the back of that minivan because... God forbid your child might be forced to use their imagination for 20 minutes on the way to elementary school in order to keep them busy. I say much better. Every single moment be spoon-fed by the video god that runs their life. Gee, I wonder where ADD comes from. <laughs> I can't possibly imagine. I mean, we kept the boy entertained 24 hours a day his entire childhood in front of a television with a remote control and a game console. All of a sudden, he can't pay attention. <laughs> oh, oh, great Zeus. Why have you done this to our child? Please. Send uh, down some of your pharmaceuticals as uh, which to cure the lad. <laughs> Otherwise, we might be forced to spend time with him, and uh -huh. frankly, he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and while you're at it, send me something for my fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome and myriad of other ailments the medical community has convinced me that I have because as an American, if I don't feel good 24 hours a day, well, there must be a pill I can pop into my face and change my brain chemistry to constantly feel better or maybe and i'm just spitballing here oh great one maybe you're not supposed to feel good all the time maybe it's supposed to be a struggle to get out of bed every once in a while and in doing that is how you become a better person when you hurdle that part of your life then you just create this incredible sense of entitlement which is what i complain about the rest of the world having maybe this add thing is kind of overblown maybe it's supposed to be harder to read something than it is to watch it on tv and we have these big fat drug addicted kids that are basically embracing all the worst parts of elvis presley <laughs> We're not doing them any favors. Maybe, maybe, oh great one, the rest of the world isn't the problem. Maybe it's me. Yeah. By the way, that bit is entitled Parenting Advice from a Guy That's Never Had Kids. <laughs> I don't feel like walking. I have lower back pain. 
some uh, foot discomfort. So you're just rolling around? Yeah. There are better options. You need to try orange insoles. Orange insoles? Yeah, check those out. Proper support for your feet. You're gonna have arch huh. support. It's got that deep heel cup. These do feel better. All right. Who needs you? Not me. Orange insoles will help you feel better and do more guaranteed. Get your orange insoles today and step into a world of comfort. And I, I've got this look on my face of Larry, like, what, 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 what? He hangs up the phone, looks right at me, and says, frickin' Ron's dead. <laughs> That's it. That was it. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. Needed Greg Hahn. I play golf. Oh, yeah. Well, I love golf. I play a lot of golf. Every hole, like 14,000 strokes. That's a lot of golf. You know what I mean? <laughs> I look like a propeller out there just swinging away. <laughs> <laughs> I love golf. I swing with one hand. I don't even use two hands. I don't care. I hit that ball as hard as I can, walk six feet, and hit it again. <laughs> Every hole, I use the driver. Par three, I don't want to see a seven iron. I let the big dog eat. I grip and rip it. You give me a golf cart, a 12 pack, and a lake, I'll show you how to have fun all day. <laughs> You ever wonder how far a golf cart can go on a lake before it sinks? You ever wonder? <laughs> 13 feet! <laughs> I love golf. What a sport. It's a good sport, because if you yell four, you get to hit people with your ball. <laughs> oh, that's nice. People with houses right. on the golf course, they're always complaining, you know, if you bounce the ball off their roof. They should shut up and wear a helmet, because I am playing through, buddy. <laughs> I'm hitting patio furniture, bird feeders, I'm picking up cable. <laughs> I'm not afraid to take a divot. They call me the farmer! Yeah. Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because uh, <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor, Gail, very... Um, Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved in. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and uh, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is... <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sunshine! Bob and Tom... Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi, Chick. Hey, there's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. We get a song out of Mr. Godwin. Sure. That would be fun. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. He's over there at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Thank Hello. you very much. Well, we got our new contest out there for the kegerator. <laughs> Brought to you by Orange Insoles. Does kegerator make you laugh, that word? I never heard of it until this morning. You've never heard of a kegerator. I'm, no. I'm, I'm a little surprised you don't have one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am too. Do you have a uh, Do you have a bar area in your uh, basement? Let's say no, no. Mm. Those are often equipped with kegerators. Kegerators, right. sure. Yeah. No, I do not. Um, huh? But uh, you don't have anywhere where uh, you could welcome someone into your home. <laughs> yeah, I've got a refrigerator, and I hope I got a couple of them. Well, I mean, somewhere where uh, that's set up for visitors. Yeah, I've got a family room. They can come and sit down. Hey, how are you? He doesn't. He huh. doesn't have an entertainment area. You don't have a pool table, no. bar. No. Yeah, <laughs> Jake's got a nice bar. Big laugh. screen TV. Yeah. Big screen TV. Uh, typical nice, man cave. I got a bar. I got a. Uh, I got a, a dorm fridge, like I said. I, uh, well, see, this would I be got perfect. Two or three like, TVs in maybe, there. Maybe you've got a nice garage you want to set, get set up. And it's like a sports bar. I have a full. I am a Midwestern guy. Mm -hmm. I have a full size refrigerator in my garage. There you go. Okay, that's what you do, pal. Just in case you run out of beer in the main fridge. <laughs> but this is the kegerator. It's the size of a dorm fridge. You say a, a, you, three different sizes of kegs will fit in that? That's mm -hmm. right. Hmm. I was oh. looking at the... Uh... You ever heard of a pony keg? 
Sure. See okay. what happens. Uh, that's for kids. Tom. Yeah. See he's, what happens is you open he, the door. He's opening the door. Right. And there's hose. Hose in there. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, this hose. is cool. Now, there's shelving in there, too, that's removable, but right. you can keep it in there if you just want to have it function as a regular fridge. You tap oh. the keg. I see. Okay, I got you. Okay. Uh, that's uh, now, cool. Um, you can, cool. You can win the kegerator. Uh, for more on Gin Souls, just go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Enter for your chance to win. Tell us some of your, some of your oh, yum, ha- Halloween tale. Is there really? Oh, my gosh. Look at you. There's beer. There's no beer in there. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, dude. Go, go, go. That was awesome. Uh, and beer. Okay, now, um, uh, Chick, you wanted to hear uh, one of your debuts on the radio on this show. I found the other uh, old man piece. Oh. That features Chick McGee. Oh, is that right? Uh, yes, yes. And I will see if you're. Uh, is you this must... the one where you're a real snot? Um, yeah, this is yeah. based on a. There was a TV commercial, and it was um, uh, a, 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 a guy that's sort of the night watchman sitting at the front desk of some big high rise, oh, yeah. some office building. Yeah. And some guys coming out of the coming out of the office late at night and, yeah he's been working hard all day and mm-hmm. the guy and the guy is one of those little men of the remember those little mini tv sets they used to have <laughs> sure <laughs> he's got one of those in the desk and he starts watching the game and these two guys are obviously from different worlds the one guy's kind of a low-level employee the other guy's some hot shot and then they end up bonding together you know, well, watch, watching the game grabbing a beer after many many auditions we decided to cast you as the privileged uh, monster <laughs> 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 but I, I didn't know how to pronounce that kind of a fancy radio I think it was like Blaputnik or something oh I think it's Blaputnik whatever Blah, it was or that, Blah, that, Blah, that, that was a fancy fancy radio you at could the get time, in the car yeah. yeah so you'll see, you'll see here here it is <laughs> You know, retirement just wasn't my style, so I began working nights down here as a janitor in this old office building. Yeah. <laughs> just to keep busy, I guess, because it pays below minimum wage. But anyway, oh, hey, there's the big cheese now. Rid, how you doing tonight? Hey, working uh, kind of late, aren't you? How you doing? Yeah, having a pretty tough night. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Night. Yeah, you, you gonna watch it? Can watch the game tonight? Yeah, I'm headed across the street. Free pizza beer night over there. I had a pretty tough day. I thought I'd just uh, watch the game with the fellows over at the bar. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I'm just going to listen to it on this old radio here. The antenna's kind of shaking. I'm looking at a big screen color TV over there. It's the uh, best picture I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, big screen color. Great picture. I heard it is. Well, I sure right. like to be there. Well, you know, I got all my work done. And oh, really? You're, yes. you're all done? Yeah. You suppose maybe I could... Well, I'll tell you what. Uh... Maybe I, well, I got my BMW in the garage. I got a Blaputnik radio in there. I can pick up the you can drive me anything. Up. No, no. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my car keys. Why don't you clean out my car? I got a wicked clean stain up. in the back seat. Yeah, I've got some stuff in the trunk and clean it up with. Uh, Simonize it. I'll be back in about two hours, and I'll, maybe I'll bring you a piece of pizza. Okay, Dad? <laughs> Dad, listen, thanks a lot. I hear my keys, and uh, be careful not to scratch the car. And I'll be back in about two hours. Two okay? hours? Yeah, I've got to watch, watch the You're game. not going to bring... Well, you ungrateful. You, Esther said you were a worthless... <laughs> Second son. <laughs> Hell, you, you can't be my son. Nobody's that ungrateful. You <laughs> breath. <laughs> I'll take your stained BMW and run that mother <laughs> right into the damn river. You, right? you worth Nothing son gets of someone's of attention like a good string of profanities. <laughs> this message brought to you by the National Cursing Foundation. <laughs> and remember our motto yeah. go f yourself. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'd forgotten that. That's Even if great. you haven't seen the original commercial, it's oh yes, well worth it. Uh, well, well worth it. But uh, I don't remember that commercial from the real commercial. The real commercial. Uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. I, I must not be watching the same programs you're watching. Remember, back in the day, you'd, you'd be in an office building, that, and the the, oh, sure. the night watchman or whatever right. you want to call the desk guy would always have one of those little... Yeah. Black and white TVs. The size of a shoebox. Yeah. I've seen that trope, yes, but I, I still don't remember the... So this is your radio debut, and you, you, you got a Tommy Award as Rookie of the Year, and now you're mocking your... your, your, your yes, I'm mocking the entire... It. Okay. The entire thing. Entire enterprise? Okay. <laughs> Would you like me to dig up? I can dig up one that'll make no, you mad. No, no, no. And I don't know if I'm being clear on this. No. no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Actually, so we got an email from somebody who said that on Friday we were talking about, you asked me what shift I worked because it was the 47th anniversary of my year. Oh, right. well, happy being, anniversary. Being on radio last Thursday. Right. And you said, what was the... 
What, what shift did I work at my I, first I knew radio? You're job. supposed to say shift. I know. Yeah, if you want to shift, go down at the foundry. It's a show. Nah. It's a show. Oh, it's a show. wow. Yeah. One, of, one of those yes. things. And what, and yep, what show yep. did you do? Uh, it was noon to six. Or, or, I'm sorry, noon to sign off because we signed off at sunset at the first radio station I worked at. Oh, wow. Sign off at sunset. Sign so, off in, at sunset. so in the winter, you'd sign off at four. Uh, it would be f- like 510, 515. Whoa. Damn. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Did you ever work part-time before you worked full-time in radio? You just nope. jumped right in. I just jumped right in. Good for you. Yeah. Right from high school, right? I, I, I mm-hmm. mentioned something on the air Friday that got nothing. Um, <laughs> but I, well, try it again. Well, I, have you seen the commercial? This is what this is all based on. There's a commercial, I forget, it, there's a couple of them. And the, the guy goes, we thought we were Scottish, blah, blah, blah. And we had all the Scotland stuff. Yep. And then I took the DNA test. Oh, yeah, test, sure, I've seen those. And then I found out I'm Italian. And right. Italy. Right. So you have seen this. Yes. Apparently you're the only one. No, I saw it. We all, we've all seen it. I've seen what was it. the conceit that you were... As the, Josh would say, what do you want me to do? Backflips down the hall? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen what it. Did you, I, I want to see a commercial where you've got this guy standing there in a Bigfoot suit going, you know... <laughs> I always thought I was a Bigfoot, and then I, <laughs> then I took the 23andMe test. It turns out I'm a Yeti. Uh, <laughs> but they're right. <laughs> However, I got. I'll tell you why. I can tell him why I got nothing. Why? Please, please do. Because he said I, 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 I'm a Bigfoot, but it turns out I'm a Sasquatch. Those are the same. Yeah, the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you flubbed. You the over the oh, weekend. Ah. You, mean the, you, you mean the fake, non-existent just, animal? This is another reason it bombed. <laughs> they're the same. You're ignorant, they're sir. Just, they're just known by different <laughs> names around the country. Is a yeti different than a bigfoot, though? No. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're white. They're white. Right? They both don't, don't exist. I didn't think so. I they're snowy. Yeti. Yeti. Yetis are snowy. They're snowy. They're the abominable snowman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about a bumble? Uh, Bumble is technically a Yeti. <laughs> a Rudolph Red Nose. Okay. And remember, Bumble's bounce. Bumble's okay. Bounce. Uh, when we come back, we have to get a song from Mr. Godwin. Well, we have pl- exciting things in play the news. Play hell doing that. Um, oh. We have an excuse to play uh, just uh, this great tune here. That's right. That's what's been smelled. To live in Tom's world. Well, they must not have seen the commercial. <laughs> That's the only reason that joke didn't work. They're not reacting. They haven't the seen the gales the, of If these laughter. idiots would ever turn on the television. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot that a, sas- right, a, a Sasquatch and, and a Bigfoot were from the same genus. <laughs> but all of a sudden, a money, it's Yeti. Of fake, non-existent animals. <laughs> okay, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Screen Door Productions presents A Day at Fergler's Hardware, Part 2.
I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? T-Rex doesn't want to be fed, T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... Mind if I ask you a question? What? Do you live here uh, alone? Yeah, why? Shortly thereafter... <laughs> you again? Uh, I need more coffee. It's impossible. Okay, but it is possible that you want me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Good night. Two minutes after that... Go away! Stalker's Choice Coffee. The coffee's so oh good, he'll come back again and again and again. Stop. 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 Go away! Stop. 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 I'm gonna call it. the police! You want it so bad. I'm calling You want it so bad. Stalker's yes. Choice Coffee. Share it. some with a neighbor. Stalker's Choice. It's what obsessive compulsive relationships are made of. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24 7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the internet. Bob and Tom 24 7. Oh, with us in the studio, comedian Chad Daniels. Your wife is a college professor. Yes. Well, are you a college man? No. Oh. That's that makes for interesting yeah, it does. contrast. Uh huh. And her friends uh, always remind me of it. Oh, really? Oh, really? Are they all college professors as well? Most of them. Mm hmm. We were out getting dinner one night, and her friends were like, so, Chad, have you ever had Indian food? And I was like, hello, Thanksgiving. <laughs> aren't you Not a history so professor? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you know that? She has I one friend from England that's always bragging about their language. We invented your language. You didn't have a language if it wasn't for us. Well, you spelled pneumonia with a P, stupid. Nat <laughs> <laughs> starts with a G, and you're bragging about that? And she goes, you know what? They're silent. You know what? You better be silent before I stab you in your face with a knife. <laughs> horse racing, you said you're from Kentucky. You love horse racing. Racing, horse racing is my passion. The only sport that I really love is, is horse racing. I've owned a couple horses. We wow. we're, we're purchasing one now. In fact, a, a two-year-old colt. Cool. I don't know if you all know this. All Kentuckians know this, and most people around the country know thoroughbreds are named traditionally after a combination of the mother's and father's name, the sire and dam line. For mm -hmm. example, I didn't Kentucky know Derby winner Ali Sheba, out of his father, the great stallion Ali Dar, and its mother, the brood mare Belle Sheba. Sure. Mm -hmm. We're looking at one now uh, called, out of a sire named Whiny Bull by a, a mare named Girl on Girl. We named it Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> How are you listening to Bob and Tom? All right. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee. Hello. In, in her pink. Mm -hmm. Let's paint the mother pink. Remember that? No, yep, what yep, is it? Yep. It's uh, John Mellencamp was giving away a pink house on, on MTV. MTV. Oh, that's right. Huge. And his line was, we're going to paint the mother pink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> his little pink house. There's... For you and me. What? The... Oh, Pat Godwin. No. Um, there's uh, Josh Arnold. Uh, Ace Cosby's here. I'm Chick. And here's Tom. I have a question. Go there, ahead. there are shades of pink. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. And um, one of them yes. is uh, spelled T-I-D-D-Y, right? Yes. That's exactly right. Tiddy. T-I-D-D-Y, yes. Tiddy Pink. Tiddy Pink. Mm -hmm. Tiddy Pink. For years, I didn't understand the way that was spelled. I, no, of course not. <laughs> like, I always heard, I heard it and went, oh, it's based on the color of. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that area. It's, but this, this is a thing. But apparently. that begs the question, what is a titty? That's, yes, what does T-I-D-D-Y mean? Your thoughts, Tom? I don't know. Um, but uh, I am I just Googled it, and there's a, someone has a T-I-D-D-Y pink Bentley. Oh. Mm. Very fancy. Uh, I'm guessing that may be a professional athlete inside that car. I'm well, isn't sure. that uh, they give uh, the, the cosmetic company to get a pink Cadillac or something? Yeah, Mary Kay. Mary, Mary Kay. Kay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Hey, Pat, uh, Tom didn't know about Titty Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to tell him about Cherry Red? <laughs> oh, am I right? <laughs> pink, like the sheets that we lay on. <laughs> yeah. A little, woo, a little Lace Smith. That's right. <laughs> Now, uh, we Never were, hold that Aerosmith, Tom. Uh, uh, Mr. Godwin is uh, back in the room over there. Look at him over there. 
I bet you five bucks he doesn't know where his glasses are. They're right here, Chick. Okay. I know. Okay. Usually Pat, I don't. Um, uh, Pat's <laughs> going to be doing some shows here. He's got uh, the Funny Bone in St. Charles, Missouri, October 27th and 28th. That's a Friday and Saturday. St. Chuck. November 4th, the Ho-Chunk Casino in Wisconsin deals with Jeff Oske. And um, I think, uh, is, do you have Willie G on that one? I'm that'll, not sure. I think, yes, November 4th. That'll, that'll yeah, yeah. November 4th, and then yeah. let's see now, um, Delphus, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Oske and Pat Godwin, Saturday, November 11th. I think Delphus Knights of Columbus, yeah. Up there near uh, Toledo, I think. Delphus. Okay, there you go. So some uh, shows with Patty G uh, coming up. Now, do, uh, do you have a Halloween song? Yeah, I do. Oh. All right. Uh, Laugh well, like you've never heard it. Oh, okay. 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 No, I'm not forcing we you. We may, because we don't remember it. Oh, you probably yeah, I know. barely remember you, but go <laughs> ahead. Who's that knocking on my front door? I'm watching the game. It's a quarter to four. Oh. There's a tiny spider man saying, trick or treat. <laughs> I'm in my boxer shorts. All out of sweets. The scariest thing you've ever seen is a divorce guy with no idea. It's Halloween. Hey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I've got no candy in the house, man. That's a drag. Because Baby Yoda's on my porch holding a bag. <laughs> I've got no Snickers, Reese's Cups, or she bars. I have Chinese takeout and a couple cigars. <laughs> the lights are off so I can't be seen. I'm a divorce guy with no candy, no girlfriend, no idea. It's hollow. I've got toothpaste, vitamins, and pizza crust. Advil, Sudafed, and Cheeto dust. <laughs> Fifth of Crown Royal and a couple of beers. Unpaid bills and a summons to appear. <laughs> <laughs> the scariest thing you've ever seen is a divorce guy with no candy, no girlfriend, no job, no pants. No idea it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very, Very good. Pat. Pat. Mommy, Mommy the there. man answered the door with no pants on. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> All right, boxer shorts on. I made that clear in the song. <laughs> now, uh, behind Chick McGee right now, I can see it. It's the kegerator. <laughs> Which sounds like a monster. I had no idea. It's a mini fridge that'll fit a keg. Mm. It's, it's got the gizmo on top. The uh, the tap. Th the tap. Yeah. You the know there are words for everything uh, in this room. I'm fully aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can I, don't I can think go you are. I can go around the room. Do do, do that, uh, gentleman, lady, yes. moron, moron, gentleman. I don't often covet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I don't often covet uh, covet much, but I am coveting that. Uh, I am too, actually. That's that nice. kind of yeah. Yeah. If you had that, uh, Josh, where would that go? Living, I'm guessing living room. Right oh, there, right there by the fireplace. Oh, dude. Boom. I, I I don't think so. I as much as I'd like that. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Oh boy. Basement? I, Do you have something going on a, in the basement? Do you have a basement? The basement's fairly. It's just the washer and dryer and it's, it's unfinished. Oh. It's very nice. Garage? Clean, but it's un, yeah. I'm thinking garage or my... And the cages? I'm thinking garage. What yeah. about your, do you have a little breakfast nook off your kitchen or something? Um, uh, You know, that I, I, I'm still going garage. Right. Hey, yeah. uh, I meant to ask you, how's that pit coming in the basement? I know you, you got so, the cages. Uh, I hit a pipe. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. oh, I can't ask so, people to help uh, you with that. That's right. See the, pit. the one drowned. <laughs> okay. But the other. Okay, let's move forward. Well, that's why you have more um, than one. Well, she a big girl? <laughs> speaking of kegs, <laughs> big, big, big uh, we're giving away that kegerator from Orange Insoles at orangeinsoles.com. See what I'm talking about. Bobandtom.com slash contest. Enter for your chance to win the kegerator. And I was thinking about something. And um, this, uh, I remember what it was. There's a keg mentioned in this piece. This is a, one of my favorites. It's short, but uh, makes a really excellent point. This is a Joel Lindley. Joel Lindley is uh, is our guest. Now, do you drink at all? I do drink. Really? I, uh, but that's yeah. got to be scary. I went to buy beer the other day, and uh, you know they sell non-alcoholic beer, right, which is a good idea. But uh, <laughs> did you know they sell it by the keg? <laughs> <laughs> Not. What kind of a loser <laughs> consumes a whole keg of whole beer? If you don't drink, fine. You know, have no duels, but, you know, don't do funnels. <laughs> 
you going to brag to your friends the next day? Oh, wow. dude, uh, you should have been there. I mean, we were pounding that keg till four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I was so bloated. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then I drove everyone home. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, There's man. a gigantic warehouse of stuff I don't get. I can't. And they understand. serve non alcoholic beer there. Yeah. You know what? I'm, Boy, another I don't thing I don't that. understand Hooters has food to go. <laughs> 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 Who the hell's that for? <laughs> Joel, Joel Lindley. Uh, and the Where kegs. You, you, can get a, you can get a keg of O'Doul's. Sure. Or you can get Why your favorite, favorite beverage. But, uh, once again, the kegerator. You can win that baby. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. While you're there, maybe you want to get ready to enter for week seven of our pigskin pick'em competition. You can be like Corey Cravey of Clovis, California. He won uh, last week. He won week uh, five, week six. Is winner will be announced later this week. Okay? It's very simple. Just pick the winners. Now, speaking of winners, in the world of sports, there's a sportscaster winner, and he's right over there. It's Chick McGee at the Everyone's sports station. Everyone's a winner, baby. <laughs> Especially anyone who hears that song. Today. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Or uh, gotta get you moving. Hey, nothing wrong with a little hot chocolate on a fall morning. Look, right. Christy's moving. Christy gets it. Where are you from? That's right. Oh, you sex the thing. You sex the thing. They should have cut off the hands of the string players responsible for this. And then this I'm gonna a hit great you with groove. What's uh, wrong with you? Uh, we're gonna bring it down. With oh, some Emma. That guitar. Or a bad guitar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Boy, it really like is that. an odd choice. It is. I, For some reason, I love that odd choice. It's cheesy and fun. She I, was so honestly, I didn't know this was the same band. Everyone I didn't know this was a hot shot. Sadly, Everybody they didn't all die in a plane crash before the end. That's not nice. Yeah. Okay, could we not play this uh, crap? I mean, um, <laughs> song. <laughs> it's very... I like that sound. I too don't Me care too. for things I, I, I said it before. Don't I'll understand. That's it. it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were saying marigolds when I was a kid. We marigolds. Need to get, I believe in marigolds. Oh, okay. We need to get Susie Quattro, uh, Donny Iris, all these people we talked about. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. All these people have a big time concert. Oh, right? yeah. that'd be fun. Right out here in the parking lot yeah, for you us and, and seven people who buy tickets. Yeah. <laughs> we'd have a great time. <laughs> You're gonna be a Do you burn. remember John Parr playing in the parking lot? Uh, Ooh. Naughty, Naughty, I don't, actually. I like that song. Well, that's a good song. Really? Naughty, naughty. <laughs> nasty, nasty. <laughs> John Parr? Is it nasty, nasty? No, I bet it was just oh. a nasty. Is that Jack's boy? Uh, oh, is it? <laughs> that's right, yeah. It's uh, John Three. Parr in the I, I kid you not. <laughs> Three of us got that. Okay, I'm sorry. We were going to polish off sports. Is that my hope? No, we, we'll be right back with more oh, World my gosh. Records and... Um, Big news in the NFL this past weekend. It finally happened. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers brought back their creamsicle uniforms. Everyone was very excited. You know, there's this whole subculture of NFL fans who like certain NFL uniforms from, I think the Titans are going to wear the Houston Oilers uh, yeah. uniforms coming out here in a, a couple wow. of weeks. Wow. Yeah. Really? It's very cool. Didn't but the, the, didn't the Browns wear no brown? Uh, brown uh, the Browns had, like, the white helmets white. and stuff. And, mm. Um but I'll tell you something about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers when we... Uh, when okay, we look, look forward to that. Uh, right now, I want to remind you the importance of sleep. And boy, do we know that. Oh. Yeah. Getting up early. That's why when we do get to sleep, we sleep on a sleep number bed. It's the best. The foundation of a healthy mind and body, of course, is a great sleep. The sleep number bed, well, I'll tell you what. I'll go around the horn. Uh, Christy Lee, what is your sleep number setting? Uh, 40. 40. That's, yeah. uh, oh, that's a little up a little bit. Up that's a little bit, yeah. yeah there you go, there you mm -hmm. go. Uh, that, that's a, a softer mattress, uh, Chick McGee. 100. There you go. The firmest of all settings. Okay, but you determine your own setting, so everybody is happy, and either side of the bed has its own setting. So over there, it could be 100. Over here, it could be 40. That's okay. It's about pleasing you and getting the best sleep for you and your partner. They get the best sleep, too, because they have their own sleep number setting. By the way, sleeping too hot or too cold? Experts recommend keeping your bedroom temperature between 65 and 68 degrees for the most comfortable sleep. And Sleep Number also has temperature-adjusting beds and bedding to help you both sleep just right. That's the key. The Sleep Number bed, it's just right. Sleep at the next level. Unlock your unique potential with a smart bed that can perform as well as you. And now it's at its lowest price ever. The all-new Queen Sleep Number C2 Smart Bed is just $880 
plus special financing is available for a limited time. It's a brand new offer. See what I'm talking about. Find out at your Sleep Number store. To find it, go to sleepnumber.com slash BT show. This is all subject to credit approval. See the store for all the details. The new Sleep Number C2 Smart Bed, just 880 with special financing available. We are coming right back. Lots of interesting things in the news, including... Uh, a great world record from an old dude and, uh, and a reason to play the flock of seagulls. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24-7. It's a little, little baby butt. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Mm-hmm. Creamy. <laughs> is it creamy? <laughs> Got hair on your butt? That grossed me out saying Not that. really. No hair on your butt? No. Nope. So sorry, Christine. Your grass don't grow on a racetrack. I don't have ah. hair. I don't have that much hair on my ass, no. Okay. Mm, okay, I, could we move on? When uh, I shave, I have to kind of get in there. That's where it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's It's like, oh wait, 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 what? what? You shave your You shave butts? your ass crack? Yeah, I shave the crack. God. Oh, my God. You got, what? Why wouldn't I? Uh, is that a weird here? thing? That's weird. I didn't know this was weird. Do you have a, a you separate... you stand up and show me how that works? I mean, how No, do don't. Do I don't want to see that. I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to unsee what I saw 10 minutes ago. Typically, I lay on my side. Uh-huh. I'm glad you'd warn me about the tan line You thing. lay on your side? Yes. And so I'll lay on my wow. side. I'll put a towel down on the bed, and then I lay on my side. Wait a minute. And you I have, have a series of mirrors? And I have the clippers. No, I just... You're I just shaving guessed. your clippers? I don't do I don't do that. I don't think you I've ever heard that. You didn't want to hear this? This is you you you, you, clip it on your you bed? trim your buttocks with electric clippers? Yes. Are these plugged into the wall? Yes. <laughs> so you got so you got this cord is you're working around a cord while lying on a Towel? When not, I said not that difficult. When I said don't go anywhere for the next few minutes, <laughs> I didn't think this was going to happen. Well, when you lay on your side, so do you, I don't, so do you have a mirror up against another mirror? I don't have a mirror, no. You just do it by feel? Yes. Yeah, like Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Josh. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you for averting so all you're, this um, of me to you because... You're using electric clippers like you'd use on a dog. I on, suppose. On your r- rear end. Yes. Not so much. The, the cheeks aren't very hairy. It's the... How do you know that? i got to get up in there. So you did one point I get, don't, get in uh, front of a full-length mirror with another mirror? And I like to keep house. I mean, I don't, don't let go it go. You don't go that far up, do But you? I don't... I, uh, oh. I'm trying to think where I stop. Maybe maybe are you, it is kind of... Are you expecting company? <laughs> No. <laughs> well, maybe, you know? maybe You never expect company. <laughs> you want to be ready for it. You keep your house clean, don't you? In case you have a pop-in? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, my real house, yes. <laughs> so um, are these uh, these clippers then, are these, uh, do you, you don't use the same one on your beard, I assume. That's it's, correct. You That's separate, correct. There's you, a separate. Yeah. you mark them with like red tape on no, the cord No, I just know which is different. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know what? I... I use the same trimmer everywhere on my beard. Really? It's a trimmer. Yeah. You yeah, but you're not. But, you, but you're not back there, you know, near the oil derrick. Well, according to... <laughs> the dirt button. <laughs> the old devil's under the ring? You know, the dirt When I say get up in there, it's not really up. In, I mean, it's... The, the gluteal cleft, I guess, is what you would call it. Right. You're, you're, in the, you're in the area there. Yeah, right? sure. It's in the area. Trimmer. Yeah. But I usually well, do it post... Uh, shower when you can get electric. Sometimes there's pre. <laughs> do you have, do, do you, do, you don't do, think I towel? Do you have those, you have those plugs? The <laughs> what are they? Or GFI, whatever the hell they are. Of course he does. So in case you're, you still a little bit of moisture back. You know, there, I never considered zapped. that this might be Weird. uncommon. Yeah. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever heard anybody. Huh. Talk about that. I'm before. sure people do it. They're just smart enough not to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> On a radio show. <laughs> eh, it doesn't bother. Uh, waiter, could I have a shrimp cocktail? And uh, I'll get back to my discussion of shaving my ass crack <laughs> <laughs> with my date. <laughs> I think that comes up at dinner, but... Uh, I hope not. Well, <clears throat> I know many females that have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Along with, uh, yeah. Okay. That's true. Women, yeah, it's, it's not really the cheeks. Right. It's, it's probably up, just the... Yeah. That's not... The, the cracker. The cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cracker. Okay, the little cracker. From. cracker. They have the cra- to... The, the Sphincter? I, 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 I combined crack and area. Uh, and the crack. Crack area. Crack area. Now, do you, uh, do you do the bleaching down there? I've, no. I've read no, about there's that. There's no reason to... I don't think anybody's really getting... 
close so, enough to yeah, not, look. Nobody's, nobody has a jeweler's eye. <laughs> the, 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 the Hi, everybody. Chick McGee here from Bob and Tom Show. I want to tell you about the NFL season coming up. We got together with the folks at Big Green Egg, and each and every week, you're going to have a chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg during the Pigskin Pick'em program on the Bob and Tom Show. Highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, this is Ron White, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Now, have you ever done a cop convention or anything? I just did one last night. Did you really? Watch yeah, it you know, and they're fun because they understand stuff that I'm talking about, mm -hmm. you know. I always say Unlike the, big, the normal audience. Yeah, yes, uh, <laughs> biggest misconception people have about police is that we really care. <laughs> 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 don't. If you see a wreck and you can make a U-turn, you're going to do it. <laughs> Sometimes you just get stuck. Oh, uh, you know, you just don't want to hear it. Uh, it's, it's always the same thing. You don't want to hear it. Uh, that's true. Every time you make a traffic stop, my child catch real criminals. Well, I'll tell you the truth, lady, I'm not that good at this job. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way to get disability without actually hurting myself. What? 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 Hi, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick, future Hall of Famer. Uh-huh. At the at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair, it's Josh Arnold. Thank you, Chick. Steven Singer Jewelers proving how worthless those lab-grown diamonds are by giving away a free one-carat lab diamond with every engagement ring purchase. While supplies last, purchase is necessary. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com for more details. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much, Chick. You're um, welcome, sir. Um, we have our, our kegerator contest. Criminy. Criminy. We, we, well, our contest last week, our winner was Corey Cravey from Clovis, California. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, we, <laughs> wow, Christy. <laughs> what if Corey Craven <laughs> like, from Clovis, Corey California was kegerator? He could, he could he win. He could win. Oh, man, uh, Big Green Egg Mini Max. He, he won the Big Green Egg Mini Max, so I'm getting everybody confused, I'm yep. sure. Yep. Uh, we have our um, week seven begins of the NFL season coming up starting well, the week six ends tonight put it that way right Cowboys week seven charges. begins Thursday right. so um you can get in on all the action by going to Bob and Tom dot com slash contest and uh it should be it should be fun have some fun and maybe you could win uh, the big green egg mini max and our other contest is for the kegerator courtesy of orange insoles it's a beautiful kegerator and uh where would you put that uh in your garage I'm gonna buy you sure. one for Christmas now you'll have one of your own. You could put it in the kitchen. You could put it uh, right. right there by uh, the uh, uh, end table in your bedroom. Most you people have it in their bar area and <laughs> their, you know, family You can room, put it anywhere. Tom. Entertainment room. Yeah, I don't you have know a what? bar at my house. You know what? You're the king of the castle. You could put that wherever you want it. That's right. <laughs> it's up to you. You can have anybody over you want to see at your That's at your right. Castle. You're darn right you can. <laughs> Pick up the girls at the airport. <laughs> they walk in and, oh, I replaced the end table with a kegerator. <laughs> Isn't that a sounds so well, yeah, okay. Have uh, you gone through that? Uh, well, this chair won't be staying. Yes. Yeah. Tom, <laughs> haven't you found, though, when you put your foot down, she she respects you for it? And she <laughs> yeah. Backs down. Opinion. Yes, and she goes, you that's well, very, you know and care. rewards you with yeah. sex. He won't even. <laughs> my, my, I do have a couple pieces of furniture. He won't even put that are, that I That here. I have retained. Okay, good, yeah. They are in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, wait a minute, that don't you? That big spool left, No, right? no, they're you, in your basement. Your that's basement. That, you're, you have a, a studio, I, I assume, right? Your own little area? I, I, I'm, it's uh, it's not done, but yes. Yeah. Cool. There Very you cool. go. You put That's your kegerator in there. Last. I see you as uh, possibly a watercolor or uh, pottery. <laughs> there. In your future? <laughs> in your, like in Tony Bennett? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes. You know, I like to, hey, man, I'm Tony Bennett. I like to throw clay around in my off hours. Well, you could put the kegerator wherever you want. Uh, if you don't mind, this is a no-shoes basement. Yes. <laughs> you make people yeah. take their take shoes. shoes off. <laughs> because we want to see those orange insoles. So that's yeah. why we have uh -huh. shoes on. Okay. Well, thank you. Uh, enter to win the kegerator, bobandtom.com slash contest. <laughs> it's time for the... Uh, uh, sports doctor to oh, finish geez. the sports cast. Stupid world record. Wrap it up. <laughs> uh, oh, Josh. Yes, sir. A Missouri man. Oh, what are the what, crazy Missourian? Uh, has broken the Guinness World Record for the longest journey mm -hmm. by pumpkin boat. <laughs> oh, what are these fellows, huh? I love these. How far has he gone? According to USA Today, Steve Keeney paddled a... 1,208-pound pumpkin boat called Huckleberry for nearly 11 hours along the Missouri River. Oh, hence the Huckleberry. Huh? His 38-mile wow. trip beats the current record of 37 miles. Okay. Oh, he did it. All right. Beat he, it by one mile, then got the hell out <laughs> yeah, of the he pumpkin. Said, hey, enough Let's, of this. That's a long day in a pumpkin. Dude, it can't be I mean, it can't be comfortable... <laughs> In a, At all. In any boat, let alone a 12 pumpkin. hours in a rotting, wet pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds, it's just as uh, romantic as it sounds. <laughs> you know, you know, the, boy, somebody wanted to be away from their wife for a whole day. <laughs> How does the pumpkin not sink? It's buoyant enough. Yeah, well, but and it and would the, the so, wouldn't it enough. soak uh, enough water up, though, well, I would think? I don't think so. I, the skin. Uh, I don't think it's that permeable. Right. Yeah. Maybe, they, maybe they wax it up or something. But yeah. yeah, true. Seal it. They do the same thing with uh, the battleships. They have to seal those with uh, kind of a wax. <laughs> well, actually, That's they it. use a flex seal. That was oh. exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, every battleship is yeah. coated in flex seal. Huge <laughs> advancement in our uh, naval barricades. Hell of a DOD here. contract that guy got. <laughs> boy, and then, oh, boy. Oh, and he still advertises. Yeah, Isn't that yeah. interesting? And wow. then Christy, interestingly enough, if he gets a hole in the pumpkin boat, yeah. he fixes it with a pumpkin patch. <laughs> it was very cute. I very, liked it. Very cute. <laughs> that's that's one you can tell your little seven. -year -old. That's exactly yeah. with a, without an ounce of shame. Yes. <laughs> and the pumpkin. Whatever patch. floats your gourd. And you know. uh, <laughs> um, touch her on the nose. Yeah. This uh, it, this patch? looks so uncomfortable. Yes. Boy. And uh, Good that's for him. I think pumpkin. all around the country they have these. Uh, Watercraft festival. <laughs> that's a big one. That's a huge pumpkin. Yeah, you have a, sure. you have a yeah. picture of it. Twelve hundred pounds. Yeah. Here, hold on. I got one for you. It just it's, 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 oh, over a half ton. It's, okay, it's not as big as I expected. I don't know what I expected, but oh, goodness, he barely fits, fits in, in it. Yeah. yeah. So it's even more uncomfortable than we. <laughs> yeah, than you even imagined. Oh, jeez. 11 hours in that. You'd never get the smell of pumpkin <laughs> oh. out of your pores, right? Yeah, no no pumpkin spice lattes for this guy. Hmm. Oh. Um, well, so uh, it, it, this is the Guinness World Record. Is that our only record for today? No, Tom, it's not. Stupid <laughs> World Record. A Canadian man. Okay, so this is a Canadian record. Let's All start right. there. Yeah. He has officially become the world's oldest person to perform a handstand. Oh. I'm sorry, a headstand. <laughs> Just on his head. What? Yes. On his head. I thought you were going to say hand something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I was shaking anyway. Hey, hey, we take my teeth out. That's the way oh, That's gotta, the way Dave liked it. I got a know. way to do this. It was the most exquisite hand <laughs> job I've ever got. It was a head, uh, headstand. Headstand. Yeah. Retired naval carrier pilot. Oh, brave, brave man. Kind, yes. of a, kind of a badass. Uh, Bud Jardine, no relation to Al Jardine. No. Uh, broke the Guinness World Record after performing the yoga pose, the headstand, at 88 years, 33 days. <laughs> to achieve this record, the challenger must perform. <laughs> to achieve this record, he has to have. <laughs> Here we go. He has to have yes. tie back his balls. Yes. So they don't hit him in the chin. Oh, well. Oh, oh, oh. I'm teabagging myself. Oh. Actually, uh, Help me. The, uh, the, the first time he tried, he was uh, just getting up to his headstand, and he was trying to, and, he, and you heard. Uh, oh. oh, my God, it's his neck. Oh. That sounded pretty good. So Chick, was that the go. pencil I lent you? Yeah. So, uh, hey, hey. <laughs> Comedy's not pretty. <laughs> uh, to achieve the record, the challenger must perform a headstand for a minimum of 15 seconds. In addition to their head, 
Yet, they are <laughs> permitted to keep their hands or forearms flat on the no, floor. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, you can't just do it on your head. Well, you want to do a headstand no, or not? Yeah. I want to see that. This no. is a head handstand. That's like Let's a Cirque du Soleil yeah, athlete. Those Cirque guys can do Soleil stuff thing. like that. You when remember, they put the hand out. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. Bruno the Magnificent. <laughs> he would jump 100 feet in air and land on a block of wet cement. <laughs> Uh, he, you can put your uh, hands or forearms flat on the floor while their legs must be raised vertically in a straight line sure. with their body. Okay. That way. Can you do a headstand? Can that you do a headstand? I don't think I can. No, I think it would be more of a wall lean type yeah. of deal. <laughs> well, that's a beautiful lake, wall lean lake. Oh. That's nice. Yeah, Hemingway was something. Oh, gorgeous. Um, so. Uh, the guy's in the middle of the room, though, right? He's not leaning against a wall. No. He doesn't say he's not. If he were leaning against a wall, it wouldn't be, that wouldn't okay. be hard to do. And it's easier for God to pick him up by his feet and take him to heaven. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> like, a, like a claw machine, <laughs> yes. It seems like an easy record to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's just one guy who's a couple weeks older? Yeah. Yes, yeah. 15 seconds. So when you that's get to be very... the age, I think that's the... 88 days, uh, 88 years and 34 days old, you could try I'm going for it. All right. Write that down. Write it down. Okay. You've All still right. got a good 45, 50 years. Oh, bless you. You know how old she'd be in 45, 50 years? <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh, it's like 130. Uh, yeah. Huh. Okay, let's move on. That would be a record. That'd be a record for living that long. Oh, that's <laughs> exactly right. Are you done? Everyone's a winner, baby. Every day I miss the day for those mornings when coffee just won't cut it, he's yeah. a winner. <laughs> How about that vocal, Tom? Here, here comes. Everyone's a winner, baby. That's the truth. That's the truth, man. Um. Ace, wasn't hot chocolate your nickname in high school? <laughs> Didn't all the ladies uh, give me some of that hot chocolate? He's not. He's not. Yes, Ace was not flat. <laughs> Good Lord, what's that noise? <laughs> they were British. Were Angels. Did were they you know really? Yeah. yeah, sure. They were British. They yeah. must have been yeah. on that Jules Holland show then, I guess, <laughs> probably or something. Remember the full Monty really brought them back in a big way. Oh, did I, it? I, I, oh, I believe in miracles. Another, another reason I'm glad I didn't go to that movie. Oh, that's, that's a, a good movie. movie. That's a wonderful movie. Great Actually, you, you, movie. Yeah, you, you would like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Never yeah. It's, very good. it's a lot of fun. I, I despise that song. Is that a Guy Ritchie's movie? No. Full Monty? But a lot of the Danny Boyle, right? Is, is it, it Danny, Danny Boyle? Boyle? I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we can. Is it? Is the hot chocolate hunk over? I hope. Yeah, are you talking I, about I Ace not. again? <laughs> <laughs> You're a hunk now. I've got. Uh, I've got everyone's a winner, babe. I got Emma. That's okay. I've got uh, you, sexy thing. This is the one I truly despise. You, sexy thing. What's, you. what's that percussion there? What is? It? Like a ladle against a pot? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I think it might it's a be. woodblock, maybe. You sexy thing. Thing, it's such a cool sound. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> you don't like that? Me, you know why they recorded yeah. that one? Because they weren't going to get one better than that. So. Uh, we're done, yeah, boys. Right. Wrap it up. We got it. Fuck out. Hey, for once, you're in the minority here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You guys go play that. I'll go play something good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when you find records out there. Uh, well, um, oh, uh, is, so that is uh, officially uh, the Aren't sports you broadcast of the day. Uh, yes, you're welcome. Um, Speaking of old time. Where are we going? Where are we going? This is what you find them for. Wherever you go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. Christy. Well, we had the old guy doing the headstand at the age of 88. New research out there indicates older adults experiencing sexual pleasure might have a significant impact on cognitive function. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This sounds uh, very important. What does this mean exactly? It means cleaning your pipes might help you clear your head is what it means. How about that? Scientists found among sexually active adults aged 75 to 90, having sex at least once a week was associated with better cognitive function five years later. My vass are closed. For adults <laughs> aged 62 to 74, those who reported pleasurable and satisfying sex experienced better cognitive functioning five years later compared to those who did not find their sexual experiences as enjoyable. Five years later? Yeah. That's right. What about that year? Uh, I would yeah. find... I still want to be able to do the crossword in five years. <laughs> do me, baby. I'll first do the wordle and I'll do you. <laughs>
I can't do anything until I've done my work. <laughs> my buddy, huh? me in pudding. Yeah, I got to. We're going to go to the, the cafeteria early because I like to get my bone in about four. <laughs> Take that custard, Ethel. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. This, this guy that you've got a hold of, <laughs> he calls it getting his bone in. No, That's what sure. he said. All right. He's had to get it in early. We'll go to the cafeteria. Right. Like a good tomahawk steak. <laughs> yeah, right. Get, get a hold bone. of that the bone in, boy. You'll know what's yeah, got you. Yeah. I tell you what, I, 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 Lois is doing crosswords in the bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm jerking it like there's no tomorrow. Let's not get so graphic there, Freddie. I got that bone oh, in. Yeah, Freddy, go. uh, there goes Freddie again. He's in his potty mouth, oh, Freddie. Right. He's jerking it like there's no tomorrow. Hey, hey, to beat the band. Yeah, no, you can say that at the home. Oh, boy. Look, look at him go. Uh, turn around, Freddie. We don't... Uh, uh, Lois, it's a four-letter <laughs> word. It's oral. We don't need to uh, see that. I'll get back to you when it's anal. <laughs> Hello, there Freddie. He well, couldn't help himself. Go. He's got away with women. <laughs> he couldn't just He'll leave it away. at oral. <laughs> no. Nope. He had to make it's a cross, no question. It's a crossword. <laughs> What's the old joke there, Freddie? Uh, the lady, he's a regular Don Juan. The ladies, Don Juan, anything to do with him? <laughs> oh, that's very funny. good one. <laughs> Damn. What's that joke about... Uh, Oh, oral, uh, oral, I need a, he was doing a crossword puzzle, and he, oh, it's not, I need an eraser or something, because he wrote down. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 the, that's the, oh, the, uh, now you're it's, going it's back. the Pope, the joke is the Pope, it's the Pope? doing a crossword puzzle on an airplane. Oh, oh, and the, and yeah. the clue is ant. <laughs> no, no, the answer is, is ant, ant, but he, see, so you've told the broad joke backwards. Right, right. He's just <laughs> looking for a, a oh, word that, a woman that ends in U-N-T. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, me and then, and then I the need pope, an eraser. Then the Pope goes, I need an eraser. You can rebuild that joke. Because the Pope would never say that. No. God, no. Particularly funny that it's the Pope. I know, right? Sure. <laughs> so the point of this news story that I've got to You know forgot. the Pope has heard that joke. He's had, he, he must have. Yes. I told him. The purpose of the news story is if you have clean pipes, it could help clear your head at any age, I would think. All right. Well, yeah. there you go. So take this one and... Uh, you, you want to have this in your pocket? Well, I, there's a, your, I'm Honey, you. it's for my health. Five years from now, you're going to thank me for this. <laughs> That's right. We've got one more sports story, an NFL story. Oh, what? I, I forgot. No, we're, we're coming Don't back. Don't you wish you were into gilfs? Like, what if you... Wouldn't you just go work at a nursing home and be the Lothario of Shady Acres or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> just... Uh, easy pickings? Oh, and, uh, I'm sure. Room to room and just say the same thing every time? <laughs> what do you got for me today? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want, to break, you want me to break that hip, Zelda? <laughs> That's right. Come on in. Ladies <laughs> fighting over you at bingo? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be yeah. great. <laughs> Have you seen Chick? He's coming in here today. <laughs> That's what I Josh, heard. sit at my table. <laughs> They're all getting their hair done for you. <laughs> I tell you what. I, 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 me for me. What yes. I like to do <laughs> for me. I like to form the alphabet with my tongue. <laughs> while you could. Oh, oh. Right. <laughs> Old Freddy, he Where can't you? be stopped. <laughs> Where do you go? If he, if he ain't jerking it, he's talking. Yeah, he's talking boy, boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's showing us how it's done. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. yeah. leaving nothing to chance I today. Cannot, like, I, like, I, like, I like to sing songs with letters in them. I know. B I S. Oh, uh, oh, Freddy. Oh, boy. It's nap time. That's Freddy. <laughs> so I'm going to give him his pills. Huh? <laughs> no, not those pills. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be well, at it all. When night. we come back, we have a, a, a bonus sports bulletin, apparently. That's right. Plus a survey about the worst things air travelers do. I've got some ideas uh. on that one. When we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Glad that we're back. I just suffered through six minutes of Josh and Christy shopping for candles. No, we weren't. Not you quite. weren't even paying attention. Yes, and then Josh goes, I've got a coupon. No, we were looking for an avocado tool. Yes. New tool. And you know what? Oh, I'm yes. Sorry. I do <laughs> have a coupon, and what's wrong with that? He goes, I'm going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond today because I have a coupon. And he'll get a coupon. I'm going to get, get candles and an avocado tool. Yep. What are they going to pen it and a t-shirt? <laughs> what kind of candle are you getting? What, fla what flavor candle are you looking for? I like pumpkin. 
That's oh. right. Oh, now's a good time for that. Yeah. Good time of year. I object, but I happen to have. Do you ever go into a store <laughs> myself? So I end of my objection. Do you ever go into a store and pick up something and you don't really look at the price and you take it up to the register and they go one hundred one ninety eight and you go. What? What? <laughs> uh, I 101 did that. 98? I, I went, I bought two candles. You know those two little wooden candles I have on the kitchen? Yes. Table? Those are 50 bucks a piece. No kidding. I mean, I, <laughs> I well, couldn't the, believe That's why off the air I asked Christy, why are candles $95? Yeah. Uh, and I said, what? Because people are stupid enough to and pay. And being it. a media darling, I couldn't say, well, I just <laughs> need to put this back. Yeah. I'd rather not pay $50 for a candle. So I said, ah, I'd wipe my butt with 20s. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> Boy, I know it's an anatomically correct uh, phallic candle of some sort. Yes, I could use it to aid my masturbation. That's right. Oh, I should probably use something help from the Liberace. Uh, uh, Christy, to answer your question. <laughs> what was my question? Yeah, uh, you, uh, when you guys were you. talking about avocados, uh, you asked if there was an avocado vodka. Um, Ten best avocado drink alcohol recipes. Uh, uh, there are, uh, right. yes, uh, you something can make called avoca avocado uh, I'm vodka. sorry, what? <laughs> avocado, too, Tom. No. I think Chick does also. Avocado. That's a Russian, that's a Russian bluegrass band. <laughs> no, avocado. <laughs> avocado, no, no, we've all got That's a Genesis song. <laughs> You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? She said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love, from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers. Spider-Man saying trick or treat I'm in my boxer shorts All out of sweets The scariest thing you've ever seen Is a divorce guy With no idea It's Halloween I've got no candy in the house Man, that's a drag Cause baby Yoda's on my porch Holding the bag, I've got no Snickers, Reese's cups, or Hershey bars. I have a Chinese takeout and a couple cigars. The lights are off, so I can't be seen. I'm a divorced guy with no candy, no girlfriend, no idea. It's Halloween. I've got toothpaste, vitamins, and pizza crust. That feels and Cheeto does A fifth of Crown Royal And a couple of beers Unpaid bills And a summons to appear The scariest thing you've ever seen Is a divorced guy With no candy No girlfriend No job No idea It's Halloween <laughs> if I would have written it down, it would have been live. <laughs> this has been the Law Minute with ex-attorney Jack Thomas. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the law is your friend. It's the lawyers you have to watch out for. <laughs> and remember this: the preceding has been a joke, not legal advice. Learn to know the difference. <laughs>
spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of, of curvy cleavage on display. The thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. Don't touch those. Sorry. The human drama of, of curvy cleavage on display. This is the Bob and Tom Show. No shoes, no shirt, no talent. I was flying from South Bend to here. I was yeah. on a plane this big. It was like a pack of gum with eight people in it. What happened was we took off from the South Bend Airport Hair Care and Tire Center there. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been there. We got halfway here. We had to go back. It's like a 12-minute flight. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to go back. We had engine trouble. We lost some oil pressure in one of the engines, and they told us about it over the speaker system of the plane, mm -hmm. right, which was stupid because they could have just went... Hey, we lost some oil. They got to just a little turn around and yelled at you. The guy sitting next to me is losing his mind. He, he, he goes, uh, he goes, hey, man, hey, man, if one of these engines fails, how far will the other one take us? And I was like, all the way to the scene of the crash. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom. Why? Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's over there at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Isn't it about time for Ace to perform there, Tom? <laughs> Isn't that... Uh, what am I, I got a nice letter here. Uh, what am I, a train seal? I'm Chick McGee, and here's <laughs> Tom Griswold. Ace, this is for you. Uh, this comes to us uh, from Greg in California. He says, like millions of other people, I am a big fan of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. I used uh, Ace's Taylor Swift joke at least six times over the weekend. Oh, what? Wow. I missed it. I I, for, well, I forget it. What joke? Uh, do, you, do you remember? Wait, wait, sir, of course. Uh, oh, oh, well, hang well, on. Well, hang uh, on ladies and gentlemen, yes. I, uh, without uh, any yeah. further any further ado, well, let's uh, get this going here. <laughs> Joke of the day. Christy, why don't vampires like Taylor Swift? Oh, I don't know why. She's got bad blood. Because baby, that was a joke of the day. Oh, I, I stepped, stepped on, on it. it. <laughs> That seems like a fun song, huh? It's a good song. Hot chocolate. Uh, uh, <laughs> congratulations. He says he told it six times and he got the Chick McGee look every time he told it. Oh. Well, how does that guy know what the Chick McGee look is? He has VIP. He watches on oh, YouTube. Oh, really? And watch the sure. video. Watch okay, the Chick now I'm going to give him the Chick McGee look uh, to that guy. Give it to him. <laughs> yeah. There you what do you think of that? <laughs> That's for you, pal. That's, that's an honor. It's, it's having like Rick. That's having Rickles make fun of you. That's an honor. He goes, uh, Ace. Woo! Thank you for keeping me the cool dad that I am. Yeah. There you go, Greg. Thank You're welcome. And Omaha Steaks brings you my joke of the day. Oh, yeah, that's. Nice. We're gonna do that when you do the actual. No, okay. Th that doesn't not, not count. A that doesn't oh. count. Uh, Let's be a new one. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna get a fresh Ace Cosby joke of the day, mm -hmm. the official one for today coming up. But I understand this is sports. Bulletin extra or something? Uh, you're exactly right, Tom. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers talk of the league yesterday because they wore their classic. Time now for a Chick McGee. Isn't this news we failed to mention? <laughs> Time now for. Uh, that's not any good either. No, it's not bad. You know we have a live musician. So no. What? Music. Oh, that was good. Yeah. We mix them both together. There we go. Okay, so let's what do you got? That. Yeah, let's try it again. Okay, ready? Okay, one, two, three. Time now for Sports Bulletin. <laughs> Sounded very important. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. Tampa Bay. Oh, that's you. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> Tampa Bay Buccaneers wore their classic creamsicle uniforms yesterday uh, against the Detroit Lions at Ray James. Tampa Bay unveiled the uniforms on July 12th uh, during the offseason. Uh, but fans of throwback uniforms, of course... I'm included, are very familiar with the Bucko Bruce logo. Now, are you guys, uh, you Bucko have any Bruce? idea what who Bucko Bruce is? It's the swashbuckling is? hat thing with the feather and... The pirate? The, the pirate on that yeah. they had on the side of the helmet forever. Now, have you, did you know that he's, he's winking? Oh, really? He's giving you a little wink when he's, uh... <laughs> so that caused much... 
uh, consternation. Did I use okay. that? Okay, yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. uh, that people uh, at the time were concerned that it might be <laughs> their logo might be too feminine for the world of the National Football League. Well, do you I think the word? Do you think the name Bruce had anything to do with it? <sighs> I I think that certainly added. I don't think he's feminine. I think he looks fuel to like the that pirate like a pirate it's yeah. errol flinnish yeah well, he, he, but that's he, the look they're going for yeah You're exactly right he's tan and uh, he's got uh, complicated facial hair <laughs> all right I, yeah i think they're looking somebody's looking for something <laughs> if you look back at 70s uh, fashion it uh, it's the epitome of uh they they wore those orange creamsicle jerseys from 76 to 96 they're Did pretty you know cool that? huh uh, people, I think they're, I think they might be the best throwback Is NFL this the jersey. Little logo? That's it. That's it. That's Bucko Bruce. That's Bucko him. Bruce. Yeah. They look like they would could be worn today and not be mocked. You know, like some old uniforms look like. Yeah. They're dated. These look acceptable. And there's also uh, there was a problem with Patrick Patriot. He Ooh. was the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was he was uh, uh, the logo for the New England or uh, the Boston Patriots at the time. There was another rumor about about yeah. Patrick Patriot. Yes. Oh boy! But I thought they looked great yesterday. Did you see the, uh, the lines in the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the throwback uniform? <laughs> Do you see Patrick Patriot? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Again, I I don't. It doesn't help that Patrick Patriot's bent over. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, somebody people are seeing what they want to see yeah. here. I, yeah. Uh -huh. They're reading into it, but yeah, he is bent over like he's. Well, he's a, he's, he's acting he's as the his, center. Like he's getting his feet set for. He's, yeah. he's about to hike the ball. He's not about yeah. to. He's he mounted by his cellmate. <laughs> he hopes um, he's the center. Could we get back to the news desk, please? <laughs> Certainly. Uh, Christy, what have you got over there? <laughs> a flight bound for Florida returned to Panama City's. Uh, Tokuman International Airport for a suspected bomb. Tokuman Airport. Panama Civil Aeronautics Authority said the plane was moved to an isolated part of the tarmac. 144 passengers taken off the plane. <gasps> the suspicious object in one of the plane's bathrooms found to be a soiled adult diaper. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a bomb in its own right. A, bomb. a stink bomb. Uh, a dirty bomb. A dirty <laughs> bomb is what it was. <laughs> uh, well, that's yeah. soil how, how embarrassing for the poor person that had to leave that in there. Yeah. You think right? somebody had to fess up? Uh, do you think anybody did? They no. evacuated no. the plane? Yeah. 144 passengers off. <laughs> but the dog was upset that it goes to the bomb searching dog. Goes, hey, look, dynamite. I'm fine with, <laughs> like a, a diarrhea football. <laughs> diarrhea football. No, thank you. I bet <laughs> the dog didn't even make it onto the plane. He just stopped dead in his tracks and looked at the guy and went, "I can tell you right now, it ain't no bomb." <laughs> I'm not going in there. Oh. <laughs> you know that my daughter, she doesn't fly anymore, but she used to be a flight attendant. Yeah. And there, there are. Uh, protocol and and routines and uh, checklists for everything, and this is one of them. Really? Yes. There's a certain what you're supposed to do, and wow. there's, there's a kit. And uh, you mean if you think it's a bomb, or you mean if it's the other soil diaper? Once you have done uh, what you think, <laughs> it ends up. Oh well, that's what it is. Then you go to this checklist, and then you oh. go get the, uh, they turn the plane around. The rubber gloves. Yeah, that's crazy. well. They didn't know. I mean. I'm not going in there and check it. We better You'd think they would just around. evacuate. <laughs> Why would you think it was a bomb, though? Would it, would it smell? Would a bomb smell? Uh, we think that the, uh, there's a bomb on the plane, so we're going to go ahead and turn around. How about you land and we get off now? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, don't waste time. It's still in the air. <laughs> yeah. Well, weren't, they, weren't they over the ocean? What, what did you say it was? It was a flight bound for Florida returned to Panama. Panama. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, you're right. Odds are they were over the water. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Speaking um, of that, well, the, I, I oh. just, I'm just again wondering how they wouldn't know it was just an adult diaper. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Are there instructions in the? Uh, I've never noticed. You would instructions think it would in be, what? The, you, in the in the bathroom of a plane, saying if you have an adult diaper, please. Well, you just throw it in the trash. I would think, like a regular diaper. Right? You just hand it to the flight attendants. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's their job. <laughs> well, actually, hey, you, if you, oh, go, I'm sorry. I'm getting, uh, can I have? Uh, I'm going to have half of a coke. And by the way, here's a diarrhea lady. Oh. No, no, you have football. <laughs> hey, come here. Yeah. Hey, top heavy. Take care of this, will you? Let's go. <laughs> Grab this crap lady hey, diaper, will you? Oh, here comes Mark with emails from flight attendants. <laughs> oh. Boy, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, there he is. That's As awful. There should be. <laughs>
Isn't it pretty easy to eyeball and say, well, that's, that's a diaper? Yeah. Instead of, a, think? oh, it could be a bomb. I would think. Maybe not. I don't yeah, know. I don't know either. If, it, if your adult diaper is ticking, yeah, <laughs> that's a problem. Right there. I'm sorry. What else do you have? That's what Marco to my Polo wife. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, give me the teaser version of this next one. Uh, okay. Well, we have a news story out of Marco Polo. Oh. Thank you. In Venice. And Alaska Airlines has created a coffee that tastes better in the sky. Really? really? Yeah. Mm. A lot of uh, airplane news today. And okay. the most annoying travel habits. We got those coming up. Yeah, oh, I, got I wonder list. what those would be. A whole list. <laughs> why, why are you looking at me? I don't uh, do anything annoying. Uh, uh, I take my shoes off. <laughs> I, mean, I may be a whistler <laughs> on a plane, but I'm not. Oh, you're a whistler. <laughs> <laughs> a gassy whistler. <laughs> <laughs> do you put your seat back? Uh, no, nope, I don't. No, 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 okay, no, I do no. put my seat no. back. No. Yes. If, no. They, if they don't want you to put your seat back, don't let the seat mechanically be able to do that. As long as it can do it, yeah, I'm putting it back. That's still it's being rude. rude. America. You're in my lap. America. I mean, you don't have to put the, the pick, pick the lid up on the toilet, but it's rude if you don't. <laughs> Similarly, uh, that's the way I deal with that. territory. I hose that seat down. Yeah. Yeah. If there wasn't a lid on it, what's it there for? Right. We're coming right back. We'll sort it out. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a Yeah, uh, okay. can, can you introduce Carl? Yeah, I'm Graber. Yay! Yay! And that's our bass player right over there. That's Carl. I am Carl. Yay! Yay! <laughs> that leaves, of course, our drummer. And I am Barry. <laughs> Barry. Nice. Hello, Barry. It's so nice to see all of you again. Hi, Barry. We've been on a tour of the world for the last 15 years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that would explain. Right. Now, how far, how far yep. have you gotten? Why are we well, well we hit Lancaster. We <laughs> hit Ocean. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that get was Shawana. Intercourse. Right. Let's see. Then in 99, we took <laughs> Must have been over I the see. Green uh, High. Uh, 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 it's it's the electric Amish and uh, then they, in two thousand. Okay, we have a limited amount of time here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, you ask. Don't leave anything out. <laughs> so, um, uh, fellas, I know you've got a couple tunes for us. Uh, yeah, um, as a matter of fact, the um, <laughs> <laughs> we've been hearing rumors. I don't know if you guys have heard about this. We what? heard rumors that um, mm. your own Christy Lee is dating an Amish fella. Uh, that's, 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 right. correct. that's correct. That is true. She spends yeah. weekends churning butter and putting up barns. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's what we're hearing. We've heard a lot of people bragging about dating Christy, but it turns out this one's actually true. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, he uh, he used to uh, live up around us, and we heard the rumors, found out it's true, so we, we wrote a little song <clears throat> about uh, the situation. Oh, uh, oh boy. <laughs> with, with Brother Daniel. Who Love to hear it. this. Oh, people. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> All set, Graber. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> There's an Amish man who is in danger. <laughs> he met a heathen blonde but couldn't change her. Her name is Christy Lee. It's obvious to me. Odds <laughs> are they won't be in church tomorrow. Oh. Secret Amish man. Secret <laughs> Amish man. They gave you a phone number and took away your beer. <laughs> oh. We all told him, don't date fancy ladies. You're asking for a one-way trip to Haiti. But she must have begged him, please. Probably got down on her knees. <laughs> and odds are neither one of them were praying. Secret Amish man. Secret Amish man. He's plugging in his tool now and stop doing things by hand. <laughs> Baking maple syrup on a Sunday Then reading news with Bob and Tom the next day She's stressed 
straddling both worlds. She's a half-cocked Amish girl. <laughs> Christy D keeps begging for it both ways. <laughs> Christy's Amish man. Christy's Amish man. He's filling up her pie hole. She's polishing his wood. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow. The- I uh, I think I'm flattered. Um, sure, you should. You be. know that yeah. that, that, la- that last uh, phrase didn't rhyme. I don't know if you guys. Uh, <laughs> that was really nice. Ooh, hope uh, he's listening. Uh, well, he's probably he's probably they're polishing his probably building a, <laughs> probably building a barn. They're a lot yeah. they're a lot better than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, the electric Amish. Uh, one- Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? And my back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See All you right. later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! <laughs> I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my face. <laughs> Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Comedian Eric Dave Dugan. Right Comedian David, mm-hmm. David Dugan. Dave Dugan joins us David in the studio. Dugan. David Dugan. <laughs> my formal name. You sound like a <laughs> grand wizard. <laughs> David Dugan, grand wizard. <laughs> Stop. You have a couple young children. A couple young kids. Raising kids at that age is sort of like being hazed into a fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was like a two-minute time period the other day when I uh, changed a dirty diaper, uh, picked up, grounded out, grounded up uh, fruit chews out of the carpet uh, while chocolate milk was being spilled down my back. <laughs> Jeez, if I could pants myself, I'd be a Fidel right now. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom. Mm. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Present. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. I'm here. Have you sang a song for us Sure yet? I did. The Halloween thing. Oh, that's right. Hey, that's uh, right. Uh, that's... What? <laughs> yeah. There's Josh Arnold. You're doing great, Patty. He's at the I oh, Hate Steven Singer sidekick. Jer, there's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Your poor taste in music is now causing people to pull over and write me letters. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, God. Oh, listen yeah, to the power. We, oh. we were together. We were, yeah, we were together. Since we were five. Since we five. were five. five. She was so pretty. Uh, of course, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> wait you a minute. you <laughs> were five and I was 37. No. Still... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. This what is about you sexy thing? How old is she? <laughs> Thanks for helping, Pat. I hear laughter. Shut up. Uh, All songs. Sexy. Oh, God, that's awful. Sexy thing. You got this uh, from uh, Patrick driving a truck right now. Hey, Hi, Patty. He goes, I'm driving through Arkansas on my way out of Memphis. Oh, I love the oh, you're lost. I love the chaos. 
and dedicated hostility that Tom incites among you. <laughs> However, I notice he's been on the receiving end of Chick's music choices today. <laughs> the uh. spirit of fostering chaos on my way to work this morning. Yeah. The first thing I thought of was this song, ladies and gentlemen. Let's All see right. if we get this to work. Okay. This is a classic. Uh, anybody? No. No. All right. Is everybody ready? You ready? Yeah. Now, here's a song I found while looking through some songs the other day. We're going to try and do it again, Dick. Is this uh, Southside Johnny? You ready? Hey. Mitch Ryder. All right. Oh. This? No, we've never heard this. It's okay. I it's a little loud. Thank you. It's a little loud. Then you're too old. So you stopped the that. show for what song was that? It's Little Latin Loopy Lou. Oh, Mitch Ryder. That's one of your okay, favorites. One, it sounded three, good. Four. It's, it's that, good. that organ. Oh, God. Well, can we hear the hook? Little Latin. Yeah. This is the intro part. Little Latin. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about his baby. Talking about Latin Loopy Lou. Little Latin Loopy Lou. She's a hundred. She's a hundred. Oh. She's my baby. Oh. It is. Oh. That's just such a, a, a great organ sound. That's, you think that, that's better than hot chocolate? Uh, a bil- million times. No. No. I enjoy it all of it. Oh, jeez. Wait, you... This is what you want. No, oh. that, that, yeah, I like this both. is not a good hot chocolate song. Since we were five. Since we were five. It's a little Rocky Horror Picture Show, but yeah. I like it. You thought everyone's You think the producer said, hey, hey, let's change that line. We were five. A five. <laughs> Now, this is great. Everyone's a winner, babe. Never could believe the way you are. The way you are. Oh, if you don't stop playing that, I'm going to... Hang on a second. You got it. <laughs> they go to the... Stop. Everyone's a winner, baby. That's true. I really like this. It's great. It's such a thrill. How do you not sit still? <laughs> Well, I'd want to vomit. I guess that wouldn't be sitting still. <laughs> you really hate it? Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's this part? Ooh. Yeah! That's so cool. That might be a keytar. So unique. That might be a keytar, Tom. Oh, Your favorite. Wow. One can only hope. <laughs> Yes. So How much are keytars? Every keyboard player can Dean pose. Probably know. God would maybe a maybe a thousand. Dean, do you own bucks? a keytar? A grand? Oh well, maybe. Then, you mean not yet? <laughs> <laughs> I understand the keytar comes with a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're equally hip. I oh, saw you. Bruce um, Hornsby back when he was very popular, and he had a keytar solo. That would uh, bring chills. Really? And sweating and vomiting. And yeah. No, sure. No, it was, uh, it was really <laughs> He's a great player. But well, I remember his famous song, uh, Keytar Rain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen to the Keytar, Keytar Rain. rain. <laughs> see, I've Chris give anything other than the, the you remember Bruce, I'll give you a chance to play something you like, do you, Tom. Do you remember Bruce Hornsby's famous quote on this show? He no. said, I know you think I'm playing the wrong notes. But I assure you, they're correct. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Love it. I want to use that. <laughs> um, yeah. He was very, he was, uh, he was very good. He's terrific. He's yeah. great. But Tom, I'm with you, though. That Mitch Ryder stuff, good stuff. Yeah. That, that great organ and the guitar. Oh, it's, but We're it's playing a lot of fine music this morning. Well, here's some more. The Marco Polo Airport in Venice, Italy, was temporarily shut down due to the presence of a large uh, snake. flock of seagulls. Day and Milan, Trieste. while the airport was closed for over an hour. There's nothing available. Four arrival flights and ten departure flights were canceled, while several others were delayed. Huh. Whoa, that's a lot of seagulls. Yeah. 
Sully would have just blasted through it. <laughs> he would have toughed it out. He would have been <laughs> murderous. <laughs> when you do that. Some goes, some goes wrong. Right. I'll, I'll land it in the canal. Sully's a hero. No, no, pilots who miss the birds are heroes. <laughs> I, oh, really? That's right. I'm the only one brave enough to say. <laughs> I drive through 100, 150 geese a day, and I'm insane. <laughs> Sully does it. He's a hero. Yeah. Okay. That's right. It's unfair. <laughs> it's unfair. Alaska Airlines has teamed up with an. Is this picture of the seagull here? No. Yeah, picture some. Oh yeah. 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 Is so, one of them wearing sunglasses? <laughs> you know what his name is? Oh, oh God, God, boy. One mm. DB Pooper. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was worse than I thought. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> don't even make sense. I would like to see I the, don't sketch, know why. the sketch D. artist. D.B. Pooper. Remember the, the famous... Well, of course Remember we all know who D.B. Cooper, Cooper is. Cooper with the sunglasses yes. on. Yes, put sunglasses yeah. on the goose. Yes, yeah. yes, it works. <laughs> it does. Sorry. Or on the seagull. Yes. D.B. Back to you. Alaska Airlines has teamed up with an outfit known as Stump Town to create a better tasting uh -oh. coffee for its well, flights. I'm glad they don't make artificial limbs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I bet they don't make mittens. More like dump. <laughs> oh, it'll make you go. According oh, to yeah. CNN, food and drinks taste different in the air because pressurized cabins lower blood oxygen levels. No. BS. Which lowers <laughs> our ability to smell. I don't and believe any of this. I have never heard that and before in my life. that's why more and more people drink tomato juice when they're on a plane. Oh, that's true. No, nowhere else. And this is true. And ginger ale. That's why airline food on the ground tastes delicious. <laughs> Those meals, they're like they gourmet got, meals. They got it backwards. But you get them up in the air. Oh. <laughs> The low humidity in planes also affects your smell. So to combat the effects, the Portland-based roaster took its Holler Mountain Blend medium dark coffee. Holler and, Mountain Blend? Yeah, infused it with uh, punchier notes that taste like marshmallows, brown Ugh. butter, toffee. Aren't as well isn't as a, a holler and a mountain geographically the opposite? A holler is low and a mountain is high. I think holler means to shout out. Like holler. No, when, oh, not in this case. Holler when your sister has her clothes back on, Josh. <laughs> this is a, you know, stuff like that. No. Oh, my she God. Didn't, no. She didn't take her clothes off till she, we got back up in the holler. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they're talking about. As well as a delicate hint of citrus oils and cherry essence. Oh. This custom blend will be served on every Alaska flight starting on December 1st. Well, that's interesting. Mm hmm. Um, I've never noticed that my. Coke Zero tastes any different in the air than it does on the ground, but I guess it must. Now, Pat, didn't you find that uh, your airline coffee tasted much better if you infused it with uh, a couple well, of shots of Irish oh, whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way to fly, baby. <laughs> it makes the uh, flight go quicker yeah. and little, I, I just assumed bottles. that the coffee on the planes was bad because that coffee maker hadn't been cleaned since 1964. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ordered coffee on a plane for fear of turbulence. Yeah, I never. Uh, I, I, you've it, never had coffee on a plane? No. And it always no. irks me yeah. when the people next to you have it. And they're <laughs> passing it over. Okay, please. Yeah, I have an idea. Uh, I've got one outfit to wear in New York. <laughs> yeah. Please don't spill that on my groin right now. Let me ask you something. All right. Let's, let's say you're uh, you're on a plane and you're uh, you, we've reached the altitude of thirty thousand feet, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to turn off the seatbelts, huh? and then you notice a fly. In okay. The, in the plane, and he's flying around, and he flies toward the uh, the, the cabin. Mm -hmm. And then he flies back. <laughs> when he flies toward, is he going 800 miles an hour? I don't. I've wow. never understood. Or is it all relative? I still don't understand how you can't be at the front of a plane, jump, yes. and when you land, you're in the middle of the plane. Yes! <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Not that that make any well, sense. you can if you're in a cartoon. <laughs> the, the, the world of cartoon physics is different. Tom, I got to tell you that ordering coffee on a plane is not one of our most annoying air travel habits oh. on a list of 20 that we'll come back with. I bet it's me and my seat back stuff. Uh, that's yeah, right that's one of them. Yeah. Well, then make the seats on able to put You have back. a point, Chick. They make them, they give you the choice. Yeah. I think they want us... Th but I think when they... they want to start... When they made them, yes. they weren't planning on stacking them that tight. Right. Yeah, that's... That's the wrong. problem. Yeah. Unacceptable. No, uh, we'll find out I more about I don't have to that. worry about it anymore. Yeah, first class. First class. That's oh. right. I you've earned it. Back. You've earned it. Thank you! Man got what he deserved. No, his, his, his daughter his, works for the his airline. Daughter works for the airline. <laughs> yeah, and he every, raised her and he earned it. That's right. Okay, fine. You know how many times I cried? <laughs> I'm worried about what she's doing. <laughs>
<laughs> you through now? Okay. I'm done. Okay. Uh, uh, the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. You ever feel like your brain uh, is getting in its own way somehow? Never. There's so much stuff going on. What should you do, but you can't do it? You want to do what's right, but it doesn't seem to be working. This is where therapy comes in. Therapy, uh, therapy can help you figure out what's holding you back. And um, BetterHelp is taking advantage of contemporary technology to help you with therapy. What am I talking about? Well, first of all, they'll help you find a proper therapist. You'll fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched up with a licensed therapist. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Then the therapy itself is done online. And that makes it that much easier, of course, because it's significantly more convenient. You're not hopping in a car and driving anywhere. You can do it where you want to do it and when you want to do it. Now, the other interesting thing about this is that um, you can do it in several different ways. You could be uh, as if you were on the phone. You could do it uh, with like a FaceTime call where you can see them. Or you could do it texting back and forth. It's all about whatever works for you taking advantage of what BetterHelp has to offer. So uh, make your brain your friend again with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp dot com slash BT Show to get on your way to being your best self. Once again, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show brought to you by BetterHelp. Coming up, we have super annoying things on airlines. Also, um, a crime with a spork. We're going to find out about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Picked a good day to tune in and listen. My, my favorite news story of the year today. Yogi in disguise. Uh, Christy, can I just read you the headline? Because this really is mostly about you. <laughs> I know exactly where you're going with this. I know, you know what exactly stories? what story. It involves bass players. That's all it, he's going to yes, have to say. Yes, it involves a scientific study yes. of bass players. Yes. And this is the, the over greatest under, story. The over-under on a, a, a musicians Christie's dated, I'm going to go 12. Over dated? On, dated. Oh, by dated, he's, va- you know, it's kind of a va- No, 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 one date, not necessarily. Chris Ace uh, is back there giggling. Over under 12? <laughs> over under 12. Ooh. Should I take the over? <laughs> <laughs> no, now I have to Just think about date. it. Yeah, think about it. Put, pen, think- put okay. pen to paper. But bass players in the news in a very <laughs> positive way. What do you define as dating? Uh, yeah, watch out. my, watch my, oh, you see this, this finger? <laughs> Don't do and that. The, no, no, that's not a date. That's no. not a date. Wait, oh, so we're not talking bedded? That's not a date. Thank you, Josh. No, we're not talking Dated. bedded. I'll okay. say this. So uh, uh, an intimate encounter in the back of a car is not a date. I'm no. going to say, no, and I'm going to say. I've never had that, to be honest with you. You rode somewhere. Hang on a second. In the car with him, and he was driving. Okay. That's a date. You have never had any kind of an intimate encounter in an automobile or a truck? Uh, not oh. in the back seat. Ah, I, I, Your Honor, I, I rest my case. And under uh, the, the categories the are defense, potpourri. Uh, the defense rests. Uh, potpourri. I'd like to call uh, Mrs. Christie Roadhead Lee to the stand, please. No, no. Well, you potpourri. can do more in the front seat Pot- than that. Potables, famous uh, uh, American. Once again, truck uh, bed sex. I rest my <laughs> case. Mm. It's literally just water. I, uh... Mouth it. Mouth it? Has that been throwing you guys off? Like, I've been told that when I drink out of bottles that I really, like, wrap my whole mouth around them or whatever. And I'll be honest, I have no idea what people are talking about. How we doing, fellas? want to learn how to uh, avoid a-holes in your life? <laughs> yeah! I do. Yes, I do! <laughs> I, do. Out of this I do, Christy. I come in early. <laughs> uh, apparently, there is a gentleman, Robert Sutton, a professor of organizational behavior and engineering at Stanford University, has written two books about a-holes and how people can survive them. Here are his suggestions. It's pretty easy. Steps to avoid and change the a-hole in your life. Uh-huh. Bob, not going to an axe hurling bar. <laughs> Number one, create physical distance. One of the most reliable ways to become an a-hole is to be around them. I've got to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am out of here. 
Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. And he's itching to get out of here. It's Chick McGee about to go on vacation. Christy Lee is right next to me. The guy doing the clapping is uh, Josh Arnold. It's I'm the Bob that, and Tom dance. I'm glad, that we're, I'm glad that we're back. I just suffered through six minutes bum, of bum, bum, Josh bum, and bum. Christy shopping for candles. No, we weren't. Yeah, you weren't even paying attention. Yes, and then Josh goes, I've got a coupon. For- no, we were looking for an avocado tool. Yes. New tool. tool. You know what? Oh, yes. Sorry. I we do did. have a coupon, <laughs> and what's yeah. wrong with that? He goes, I'm going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond today because I have a coupon. And he'll get a coupon. I'm going to get, get candles and an avocado tool. Yep. What are they going to have? A t-shirt? <laughs> what kind of candle are you getting? What, fla- what flavor candle are you looking for? I like pumpkin. That's uh, right. Oh, now's a good time for that. Yeah. Good time of year. I had object, but I happen to have Do you a ever go pumpkin into a candle st- myself, <laughs> so I, end of my objection. Do you ever go into a store and pick up something, and you don't really look at the price, and you take it up at the register, and they go one oh one ninety eight, and you go, what? What? <laughs> Uh, I did that. I'm gonna, I, I went, I bought two candles. You know those two little wooden candles I have on the kitchen? Yes. Table? Those are 50 bucks a piece. No kidding. I mean, I, <laughs> I well, couldn't believe That's why off the air I asked Christy, why are candles $95? Yeah. Oh. And I said, plus people are stupid enough to and pay And being it. a media darling, I couldn't say, well, I just <laughs> need to put this back. Yeah. I'd rather not pay $50 for a candle. So I said, nah, I'd wipe my butt with one. I don't care. Oh, <laughs> boy, I... Now, was it an anatomically correct uh, phallic candle of some sort? Yes, I could use it to uh, aid my masturbation. That's right. <laughs> oh, I should probably use Something from the Liberace. Uh, <laughs> Christy, to answer your question. <laughs> what was my question? Yeah, uh, you, uh, when you guys were you. talking about avocados, uh, you asked if there was an avocado vodka. Um, ten best avocado drink alcohol recipes. Oh. Uh, there are, uh, right. yes, uh, you something can make called avoca- with... avocado vodka. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Uh, avocado, avocado too, Tom. No. I think Chick I, does also. Avocado. Avocado. That's a <laughs> that's a Russian that's a Russian bluegrass band. <laughs> Not avocado. <laughs> avocado, no, you avocado. No, that's avocado. a Genesis song. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Chick McGee. <laughs> There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. He's over there at the I Hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. There he is. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Now, we haven't had the official Ace Cosby joke of the day yet. We have not. Um, we haven't. Uh, uh, we had a... Uh, redo. A redo. That uh, right. kind of got uh, kind of got that? screwed up. Uh, aspirin. Oh, <laughs> that's macaroni. I got you too. Getting ready for the joke of the day, are you? Well, you know, six uh, <laughs> six before he tells the joke, six after. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, yeah, that'll do it. A lot of people say, "Don't that tear your stomach up?" Well, yeah. but think what it does to my hearing. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, Bruce that yeah. sexy man with the deep voice, Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, chick. <laughs> Yes, Ace. <laughs> Halloween's right around the corner. Uh huh. You ever wonder what what witches study in school? Hmm. Ace, I wonder what do witches study in school? Spelling. <laughs> oh. Oh. Joke of the He's day. not wrong. That joke of the day brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Fall is in the air. That means it's time for the sale. So nice they have to do it twice. That's right. The Omaha Steaks semi-annual sale with 50% off at omahasteaks.com. It's the perfect time to grab your fall grilling favorites. Plus, when you use our code BTS at checkout, you'll get an additional $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required. Thank you, Ace. Thank you, Omaha Steaks. Mm. Mm, Delicious. Mm. Hey, we got something new there. Right behind Chick McGee, over there by Ace, actually. It's the kegerator. And uh, the kegerator, what is a kegerator? Well, it's like a mini fridge, like a dorm fridge, but you can fit 
a variety of kegs in there. Is that correct? Three different sizes? Yep. Well, one at a time, but yes, three. It'll. No, I, don't see you, I don't see you being <laughs> right. a kegerator keg owner up until. Uh, I, I don't even think you knew what it was until it was. It's in I have. I, I think I've seen one. I didn't know it was called a kegerator. It's a modern marvel. Did you ever go to a kegger when you were? Of course, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I mean, the but the kegerator was is new term to me, and it's it's it sounds like some kind of monster. It's great. What about a keg stand? I don't ever do that. Yeah, of course. No, no, the point really? here is that we're giving of away course. this kegerator with our uh, f friends from Orange Insoles. Um, I did get this nice letter. Okay. Um, this comes to us uh, from Brian. He writes, uh, "You've been talking about kegs and non-alcoholic beer." Because we hear Droll Lindley say yeah. they do make non-alcoholic beer and kegs. Yep. Goes, while in uh, White Sands, New Mexico, for a month of Army training with live fire, our commander took us to a bowling alley for the Super Bowl. Cool. He knew how crazy we all were, so he only allowed us to drink non-alcoholic <laughs> beer, which they had on tap. Okay. <laughs> but, as you know, bartenders love tips. Uh -huh. We were able to get regular beer. <laughs> Well, thank you, Brian. All right. I really appreciate your listening, and uh, that's a bit of great advice. But once again, you can win this kegerator. How do you do it? You go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Look for the Orange Insoles kegerator competition, uh, and then tell us about your Halloween. It's that simple. And uh, Orange Insoles, of course, orange for Halloween. Uh, there we go. We now return to the news desk with Christy Lee. Well, we've been talking a lot about air travel this morning. We're going to now talk about the most annoying travel travel habits. A recent poll reveals some insights into travel etiquette and some of the passengers' most annoying habits. Okay. Number 20, uh, lining up at the gate long before boarding starts. Oh, that is annoying. I do that. That is annoying. Love you do that? that. Yep. Love it. Oh, uh, wow. I do that. All right. And I go, hey, 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 now, hey, when? hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Until we, uh, she'll, she lets me on the plane. Standing right next to where the luggage comes out from the carousel. That drives oh, me crazy. Me too. Oh, they, that a, then they have to have a whole family there. Yes. So they're taking up 10 spaces. <laughs> I've seen that where are you supposed to stand? <laughs> well, you don't have to Along, have everybody up there. Oh, I, I don't think I grandma see. on the wheelchair needs to be sitting there. And no one's going to heave a big suitcase in her lap. Well, you got to have her close to you. Somebody could take her away. <laughs> Wheel her right out the door. Kidnap, do you? <laughs> Picking up the wrong luggage from the carousel. Have you ever? I've never done that. Have you ever? I done have it? done it, and I have taken it to my car. Shut the <laughs> shut the trunk. What well, a menace! <laughs> Tom, one time told me. You remember this in the Bahamas? There was a suitcase on top of the luggage carousel, and yeah. there was a sign on the suitcase that reminded you: be very, be very sure your suitcase. Many is bags yours. look alike. Many, many bags look alike. And he go, he looked at me, and he goes, "I'm going to go get that bag and take it to my car." <laughs> <laughs> You've actually taken someone I, else's bag to yep. the car. I, I when had somebody, did you realize? I when the person came flying out of the airport. <laughs> hey, jackass! <laughs> You're stealing my undies. Now the good news, the good news, my bag did look much like it. Uh, uh, much. Now the the the, the, the uh, other story like that is when I was uh, at. Uh, mm, uh, Home Depot, and I walked up to my car. Yeah. I'm trying to get in. It doesn't seem to be opening. This guy walks up and goes, sure, that's my car. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I have this exact same car. And, and then? And then I, I was a, it was a black Jeep Grand Cherokee. But you didn't have that but car. I had forgotten I'd driven my white Suburban, <laughs> which you saw me walk over to. Yeah. Was the, Convinced you were just a <laughs> lying thief. <laughs> Convinced I was trying to and steal Didn't you car. actually get into a car one time and oh, sat in the driver's seat? I did it. I did that. Three days ago. And you said... <laughs> what? Why you did it, it three smell? days ago. Yeah, Why does it smell like it. cigarettes in yeah. here? Oh. Just the other day, no, I was walking out of my iced tea place, and there was a iced white tea, SUV, like, opened the door, place. sat down, looked around, <laughs> wait a minute. I don't drive a Lexus. Oh <laughs> you should be illegal. Yes. I told you that. Get, get a driver. Chick is right. You're a menace. That happens. You're a menace. A lot of white cars out there. Mine happen to be one. <laughs> All right. Another annoying travel habit. Clapping when the plane lands. Yeah, what's that? What is that? I give them a standing ovation. That's right. right. You got to let them know. <laughs> we didn't crash. Don't you expect it to <laughs> land? I mean, is that... I maybe, I'm not sure. Did you do that after a, a scary flight or something? No, I, don't know. I just clap to hide the sound of my farts. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I'll clap mid-flight. Oh, sometimes. yeah. He, he's there. He's, he he's must got be watching no a movie. On, <laughs> farting, clapping. What's the last time? What, do you remember the last movie you saw where people clapped? Yeah, I just saw one last night, but I was at a film festival, so I maybe... Oh, sure, oh, the film festival. Oh, 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 o
divine. Oh, oh, uh, perhaps wonderful. you're aware of the, the hoity toity festival. It's mm. not hoity toity. Yeah. Look at the wall. Black and white, yes. Wonderful I love it. Uh, it's a great yeah, movie. Paul Giamatti pulled over. She's going to love it. They did the entire movie in French, even though it takes no. it's the guy takes place sideways. in Antarctica. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, uh, it was your sideways buddy. It's a Paul Giamatti uh, film. Yes, it right. ends with Finn. Ooh. <laughs> Alexander Payne, it's a great oh, film. Oh, Giamatti, Latinos, be banned love it. from baseball. <laughs> right. I don't know right. that Paul had much no, to do with that. Sure that, does, that doesn't count, though, when if it's a film festival. What do you mean? Okay. I mean, of course, that that's appropriate to. Clap. They're all clapping because they're there to see. It. Yeah. <laughs> Three weeks before its r- regular release. <laughs> exactly. And they're, and they're not. Movies. I'm better than you. <laughs> do you like um, three hours, yeah. movies, a three-hour standing films. ovation? <laughs> yes. So once again, we were doing things that are annoying on airplanes. Overpacking and holding up the line while you sort your bags out. I've never even seen that. Everybody, calm down. When I, I, I like to make sure that whatever I've packed is still in my suitcase. So I get my suitcase down from the overhead, <laughs> open it up. <laughs> <laughs> and go through my clothes. Oh, my God. And I say something like, oh, good, that's here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. One sock? Oh. Oh. And two. One. Okay. Oh, okay. Blocking the escalator or one of those travel things, whatever they're, travel Moving, moving, side- moving sidewalks travel- so you can't walk past. Tra- that is a horrible. Travelator? Thing. That's what it says, Travelator. Oh, Have you ever heard that word? I've never no, heard that. I've heard never that. heard that word either. First we got, uh, I mean, first we got uh, a kegerator, now travelator. Travelator. I think you're supposed to stand to the right and walk to the left. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving Everyone sidewalks, is. what I would call it. Yeah, exactly. I guess it's... Number 14 on the list. Mm-hmm. Taking your shoes off mm-hmm. on an airplane. No one would even know ah. I'd do it. Uh, my feet, I'm tall, plane, so my uh, feet go uh, under uh, the... Seat in yep. front of me. Enjoy Stink my the whole plane foot up. odor. I have zero foot odor. <laughs> what would happen if your <laughs> some kid stole your shoes? <laughs> What's a kid doing underneath his seat? Hey, look, clown feet. <laughs> he pretends he drops something, takes Josh's shoes, and steals them. That would be annoying. Are you? Uh, <laughs> are you flying to Wisconsin for our big show? Or are you driving? Driving. Driving. Oh, okay. With my shoes off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you flying? That's interesting. Huh? Sure, he you can flying? fly. Oh, I'm flying. Sure you are. Buddy free. fair, right? Yeah. Uh, first class, baby. Yeah. Oh, Did you see this? Oh I've never my. seen this one here. A number 10. I haven't got... You're jumping ahead. You just did 14. Well, I know. Do you're doing 10. We do them in order. Not having your passport or boarding pass to hand uh, when you're holding up the queue. That you got to be ready. Not separating liquids before security causing a holdup. Oh, okay. Okay. Taking up multiple seats in the departure lounge. Fat. <laughs> Number 10, draping your hair over the back of the seat. Yes, yes you have the right. I have re- <laughs> If you do that, that I have lot. the right to cut it. <laughs> I have Fabio in front of me. It's like the NFL. If you if your hair's sticking out, they can grab it. <laughs> yes. That's part of the uniform. There's yeah. a couple guys out there that are... Oh, yeah. Bunch of hippies. Speaking of uniforms, you're talking about the throwback uniforms. Yeah. Have you seen the meme, the uh, Baltimore Ravens, when they wear their throwback uniforms, they wear the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland that's, Browns uniform. That's pretty funny. <laughs> they should. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, back at the airplane. Number there. nine, hogging both armrests. Sure. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm. Number eight, leaving bags on the seat to get comfortable. Comfortable when you're trying to sit down. Ah, leaving bags on the seat. I think that I must mean that you you're blocking the whole aisle because you're getting must organized. Be. Yeah, I'm not mm. quite sure what they mean. Number there. seven, standing up as soon as the plane lands. Yeah, the flight attendants don't care for that. I've said it before. I do that. I'll say it again, and he's going to call it. Bob Zaney went absolutely bananas <laughs> on a fellow traveler one time because. We were late to begin with, and we had to make our connection. And this guy stood up, and Zany goes, "Oh, that's right. None of our, nobody else has to make a flight. That's right. That's great. Stand up, won't you? Yeah. Oh, it was wonderful. Just wonderful. Using gadgets without headphones. Boy, they were really cracking down on that. Oh yeah. You, yeah. If you've been on a plane lately, they'll say. You know, if you're going to be using a handheld device, make sure you have headphones. Unless you have a family. Well, you know, because uh, yeah, a lot right. of folks, I get enough Peppa Pig at home. <laughs> I don't have Junior <laughs> Sir, <laughs> over there. You wouldn't mind. Your your porn hub is a little loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Reclining about, your seat. How about Peppa Pig porn? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Reclining your seat back any point during the flight. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'm, uh, doing my it. Last I'm doing nerve. it. I'm no. sorry. Number three, line cutters. I did it accidentally once, and I apologized Oof. profusely to the. So in mid-flight, I guess my <laughs> my chair was a little 
Oh. <clears throat> loose or something. Uh -huh. The weight of my body <laughs> pushed the chair back, and I, I was already asleep and didn't know it. And, uh, <laughs> the woman was bifurcated. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The tray just sliced into her chair. And, I, and as the plane was landing, the stewardess came over and said, I'm sorry, the flight attendant came over and said, uh, please put your chair up. And I went, I, it's not down. She goes, Yes, it is, and it was. And when we landed, I turned to the lady behind me. I said, I am so sorry. Ooh. I had no idea that I was reclined. And she said, you know what? I appreciate you apologizing. I said, oh, oh, yes. Well, don't you have a nice little club? In and by yeah. the way, I he stole your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> You're arrested. Number two, uh, parents. I've never done their... that on a plane. <laughs> number two? Oh, oh. I parents can't. letting I, their children I, run around on the plane. Number I've two tried the list. number two on a plane. I can't. It's impossible. I don't know what happened. You I'm sat we, and, we had, and you... We had the story a couple weeks ago about, remember the guy? The running down the aisle. Yes. Oh, they had to, of diarrhea. They had to re Yeah, they had to turn, turn the plane around. Apparently he was his way. To turn the plane yeah. around. Did you, I didn't hear the uh, the cockpit, but I guess there it was uh, transcribed. And it was, I oh, apparently there's a guy crapped all over the plane. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank God we're up here, huh? Yeah, thank God we're up here. <laughs> and the number one worst travel behavior. Stealing biscotti cookies. Drinking too much alcohol on the uh, flight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll do yeah, it. Yeah, that'll flight. do it. Uh, yeah. Ruin it for everybody. You know what's not on there that should be? What? Masturbating? People. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm a little shocked it's not on there. Have yeah. you seen it's, that it's on a done. flight? Yeah. Well, I've seen it. <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> People who bring stinky food on the plane. Yeah, yeah that's oh, I don't like that either. <laughs> and then uh, Tuna they, sub. they unwrap the extra <laughs> onion yeah. sub. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, my, <laughs> is there a problem? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you mind if I eat this blooming onion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the uh, What's uh, problem? Uh, also, the guy that has somehow engineered a piece of hand luggage that will... The tolerances for this thing fitting are such that yeah. he has to have a sledgehammer to get there. <laughs> well, I brought my whole living room. It's in my handbagger. <laughs> no, and while he's doing it, he keeps repeating, it'll fit. Yeah. It'll fit. Yeah. It'll fit. Uh. It'll fit. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Flying sucks. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, I'm getting on with a guitar Nothing case. comfortable about it. Unless you're first class. Uh, would you? I can only imagine. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Now, Pat, you're one of those How guys. How awful you, you are. You, you, like, <laughs> you, like to, you like to stand up there and be the first one in line? Yeah, I'm real antsy about getting off the plane. Getting yeah. off I'm one or of on? Uh, both. Really? Yeah. I bet you're you're impossible Horrible. to begin well, with. Well, you've flown with me. I'm terrible. Loving, I don't think I have ever yeah, flown a lot. with you. No, yeah. I don't. We've flown sure. with Pat. I don't. Hmm. I don't. Okay, well, um, uh, what's PTSD. coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we have a spork attack. We have dog feces in the news. We have yeah. a sex doll. And, boy, female frogs go way out of their way to avoid having sex. So we'll have Ribbit. that coming up. Okay, I want to congratulate, once again, Corey Cravey of Clovis, California. <laughs> He's a wild and cravey guy, you know, Christy. <laughs> he, uh, he sounds like a nursery Corey rhyme, Cravey, he? Clovis, California. Congratulations, Corey Cravey of Clovis, California. <laughs> You captured the... Is he crazy, right? <laughs> he won the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Yeah, he did. Uh, from week five. Week six will end this evening with the Monday Nighter, and we'll find out who wins week six. You can get involved right now and do week seven. Just tell us who's going to win all those games coming up in week seven. You can enter bobandtom.com slash contest. While you're there, we got a new thing going on with orange insoles. This is super cool. You could win that kegerator. It's right there. The refrigerator keg fits right in there. Uh, it's from Orange Insoles. Details at bobandtom.com slash contest. Now, I turn over that way and I see, aha, it's Orange Insoles time. Speaking of Orange Insoles and the kegerator, Josh. Hi, you know, it's uh, spooky season. Halloween just around the corner. You know what's really scary this time of year? Back pain. Hip pain, knee pain, oh, three terrible things. If you work on your feet all day and you walk around with shoes that have that lame, flimsy, thin liner inside, well, that thing offers zero support. You know it. What are you doing? If you're standing all day, you're putting stress on your body. Go to orangeinsoles.com. Orange insoles offer arch support. They have that deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly, your whole body. Alignment is key my friends and a strong foundation is also key heading out trick-or-treating with the kids maybe you're out walking the dog be sure to have proper support in those shoes of yours with orange insoles great for your fall boots that typically come with very little support if you can take your insole out of your shoe and it flops around like a sad fish oh. <laughs> 
You're not getting the support you need. Think of a, a table. If it wobbles without proper support, well, you need a stronger foundation. All of it. A house, your foundation, that all starts from the ground up. That includes your body. Head to orangeinsoles.com for free shipping where your orange insoles come with a 60-day we want you to be happy guarantee. Know someone who works on their feet? Give them as a gift. No cutting required. They're true to size. That's orangeinsoles.com. Thank you very much. The home of the kegerator. You can win that baby. Bobandtom.com slash contest. Also, coming up, we have a spork. Is a deadly weapon. <laughs> oh. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1 888 Bob Tom 1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Miami, Cincinnati, Boston. I mean, it's. I got you. But no Houston? No Houston. Not Houston. according to this. Houston, Houston, Houston. Hello there, Houston. Hello there, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but he wants me to stop this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. That's irritating. <laughs> Don't ever make that noise again. I can't make Houston own that noise. If you make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> Stop slide whistling. People can't hear Houston in the low air. Catbox. <laughs> We're watching a show breakdown. Nervous breakdown. June 21st, 2018. June 21st, 2018. Houston. Oh, there. Houston. Oh, there. Okay. And I, I wish that we had said all the stuff. A team of men in white in white scrubs come in and drag you off while you're while you're yeah. just Houston. Hello there. We're going viral. Right. Tied up, breaking away. Yeah, and, and then they hey. they inject you. They inject you with something. 1936 Beatles. That's so. Ah, John Candy. Ah, ah. As, as they Hello inject there. you. <laughs> Houston. Houston. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God. Houston. <laughs> Happy summer solstice, everyone. <laughs> Longest day of the year. Oh, my stomach hurts. Hey, it's Josh, and of course. Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Big Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? We're ready if you are, uh, Chick. Do you want to Heck uh, yeah. Okay. Why not? Well, wait a minute. Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh -huh. Are we just going to do this right in front of everybody? <laughs> and, Doctor, I, I assume you just go in with one <sighs> finger. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. It's, yes. I got to right. warn you, Joyce left the uh, lube in her car last night. Oh, oh, oh it should be good funny, and cold. Funny stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's always cold lube. Uh huh. Why don't they? Yeah, they should use a warming lube. Sarah, start playing the violin. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't hear the screams. Yeah, yeah. right. so, you, know, you know the theme from Deliverance? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay, okay this. You do the this play is, by play. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh <laughs> it's, boy. It's, So flag football gets in for the first time. Five sports have been finally and officially added to the 2028 Los Angeles Games by the International Olympic Committee. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em with the Bob and Tom Show. Essential morning radio all day and all night. Well, shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Uh, 
hello. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> the perfect gift has arrived for this single man. The new cologne from the makers of Clintorius and Bonaire. Oh, no. France's most noted fashion designer, yours truly, Mr. Béchon of Paris, has developed an exciting and stimulating <laughs> new scent for men. Honey, come on. You've been in the bathroom for half an hour. What are you doing in there? Just, just enjoying my, uh, Mr. Bation. <laughs> Mr. Bation. <laughs> just slap a little on. Repeatedly. <laughs> oh, 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 God. <laughs> oh, thanks, uh, I needed that. When you use Mr. Béchon, she won't be able to keep her hands off of you. And neither will you. Is that Mr. Béchon? Yeah, I, I think that's the scientific answer. Mr. Béchon, why not jerk a bottle off your department store shelf today? Mr. Béchon, it's not a sin anymore. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. We're in a gym today to find out what athletes need after they've had a big workout. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You look pretty, pretty sweaty. Yeah, yeah, I just, uh, I just jogged five miles, I did the weights, did some step aerobics. God, I'm dying. What do you need after a big workout like that? I, mean, I could use a big glass of water. Water? Yeah. You don't want water. You need huh? something to replace your bodily fluids. Get you back on your feet again. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Uh, all right, what do you got? Here, try this. Uh, what is it? Thirspiration Plus. Thirspiration Plus, huh? Replaces all your bodily fluids after a big workout. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> Jeez, what is that? Tastes like sweat. It is sweat. Oh. Well, with a little, little coloring, and we've got some carbonation. But what are you trying to do to me? Perspiration Plus replaces all of your bodily fluids lost during a big workout. Perspiration Plus. Bodily sweat and icy cold jug. Come here, you crazy son of a bitch. I'm going to make you borrow your shirt and your shorts for later. You're sick. Perspiration Plus. Lemon lime, tropical punch, or clear. <laughs> or clear. <laughs> Can I borrow your shorts for later? <laughs> And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. A little bit. <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. Essential Morning Radio. All day and all night. Yeah, this is Bobbin.com. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chickster. He's over there at the I Hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Buddy. <laughs> I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Let's move forward here. we got a bunch of stuff going on, including a kegerator. We're giving this baby away. Yeah. A kegerator. Party. Funnels. Um, find out about the kegerator, bobandtom.com slash contest. Courtesy of Orange Insoles, you could win that, baby. Um, we are going into uh, tonight's final game of week six of the NFL. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can get yourself up and running and get yourself involved for week seven to get, win something else. The Big Green Egg Mini Mix. Details, once again, bobandtom.com slash contest. Christy Lee is at the news desk. What you got? Well, police in Louisiana say a nurse survived an attempted stabbing by a patient who was wielding a spork. Wow. Police officers responded to the Glenwood Health Center in West Monroe, where She's staff said 19-year-old Miss Madison Bingham had been extremely combative and aggressive. The patient was arrested after a female nurse said Miss Madison attempted to stab her with a plastic spork. The nurse was able to dodge the alleged spork attack. The 19-year-old was arrested. We have audio of her dodging the spork. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fast. Boy, that really brought it home. <laughs> <laughs> the spork is ineffective at both uh, stabbing someone and at eating food. Yeah. So there are some things that are perfect with a spork. 
What? Forks are fine. Yeah, your, your heart or your stews. <laughs> your, uh... Yeah. You could stab a little piece of I beef. A thick chowder. Yeah. I don't think you can rely. You, a spork is used in an emergency. I don't. Your disdain for a spork is... Mexican uh, pizza's perfect. This oh, yeah. Really mm -hmm. I, agree. Yep. I think that's the first time I saw that? one. Yeah. Because the Mexican pizza isn't often cut... Like a, it's not cut well, so you have to use a, a utensil very often. And a spork is your That's utensil right. of That's choice because right. a fork, the tines will break. The plastic fork tines will break. It's it's a it's a nice. I heard they solid. were going to uh, update those. The the tines were changing. <laughs> the, 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 the tines they are changing. <laughs> <laughs> they I, I use a, a fork every day. Oh well. really? I, Do I, you? I, I, a spork? I, I use tines daily. <laughs> oh, nice. oh oh sorry. Uh, you know I always get a clean one. I get a fresh tine. <laughs> no, nothing. Right. Um, I'll just say. Now, are the th are the little stabby parts of a spork referred to as tines? Yes. I think so. Yeah, yes. they they yeah. would be tines. Yes, I they're love. Really I have nice. silverware sporks. I have sporks that are actual proper silver. Wow. wow. No kidding. <laughs> <Aren't> you <laughs> really, something. you you hillbilly. And, Chick, what and, are they? and you're <laughs> getting up in my grill about flying first class, and you're the one who's entitled. Yes, you're with right. The, with the but I invite you to sup with me, and we will. Oh my gosh, yeah. you have a song? Sure, about the nurse and the patient. Remember, she's uh, stabbed, with, sta stabbed with a stabbed yes. with a spork. Oh. Huh? Hey, Dad. Oh. <laughs> a patient arrived just today. A tad aggressive, if I had to say. They were test to run. Is she okay? Might be here for an extended stay. She was eating for you, knew it. And as she chewed, she told a nurse, I'm gonna stab you, bitch. <laughs> nurse Ratchet, I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> Now the woman's in trouble with the plastic spork. Thank God it wasn't a sharp metal fork. Take all the knives and put on corks. <laughs> Take away the splast, the plastic spork. Try saying that. It's like Bellevue in New York. Oh, 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 <laughs> it was funny in the beginning. <laughs> it was very nice. <laughs> very nice. Very nice touching, touching tribute to, <laughs> to Harry, Harry, Harry Chapin. Uh, I, is that part of Spork Week? On, uh, uh, oh, what, it's Spork Week. Uh, That's yeah. good. Do you, do you seriously have a metal spork? Are you kidding me? I do. Yeah, they were gifted to me. Yes. Yeah. I, I, you, I will. you ever use them? Yeah, sure. Like I said. Uh, so it's like a spoon that leaks or a bad fork. No, man. No. You're, Do you you're... have the the spoons that are like sporks, but then they're they're serrated all the way around for like grapefruits? I don't have a grapefruit oh, spoon. Oh, I no. love that. Mm. No, grapefruit. I still haven't, grapefruit? I haven't acquired the taste of it. Oh, yeah. really? Oh. Bitter. Mm. Bitter. You know what you do is you get uh, your grapefruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you get uh, a lot of sugar. Put sugar um, on there, and then you dunk it in chocolate. Oh. Uh, and, you, then you get it. and then, uh, and then maybe some it? peanut butter, and okay. then you deep fry it. And then you, I, I, I have one every morning for breakfast. It's the only healthy way to start the day. Huh. Doesn't sporking sound like some kind of really athletic outdoor sex? Mm. Yes. Yeah, we drove by. I was water skiing. Looked over to my right. There they were in the dock sporking madly. Don't they? Uh, you know what sporking could be? What? Go ahead, Chick. Don't they? Uh, can't you h hang on the side of a mountain? You you drive those little pegs in and that, that's how you that's how you sleep inside of a tent that yeah, yeah. That's hammered in the, yeah and if you have sex in there that's a spork that's oh. not bad yeah yeah uh, I'm sporking a midair on on no the side thanks. Of the maybe it's you know we've all had the sideways sex oh what, what, what do you mean sideways <laughs> oh, sex like spooning? when you're both on your sides it's kind of like you're spooning oh. but you're actually now what's this called again. Uh, sporking now yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's fine right. yeah I think do you you're right sideways sex Tom. Why does that have to do with sporking? I don't understand. Because, because you're, you're, in the spoon, you're in the spoon position, oh but, oh, but you're porking. I see, I see. Yes. Oh, okay. I guess it could be called okay. spucking. <laughs> it could. Yeah. But well, we're going to go careful. with porking as opposed to... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I like sideways sex. When you both want to finish, you just don't want to put the, any more work in. <laughs> You know, you don't collapse on the poor girl. No, you're sideways. Oh, no, no. Oh. That, would, that would suggest I was on top at some point. What, what, about, uh, what about standing? <laughs> Never mind. Standing's good. She, standing, has to just, standing. Just, she doesn't have to climb down. <laughs> <laughs> climb down? 
Standing. Standing. Well, that's a lot of work. That's called chopsticking. No, 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 no. She's not standing. You're standing. The oh. fellow. The fellow oh, standing. Wow. That's, oh. that's stucking by your analysis. <laughs> <laughs> that's an oh, yeah. That's an alley. Yeah, I'm looking through or the window. Or fanding. I'm going to look through the window. Yeah, right. Or storking. <laughs> These are all. That's if you get her pregnant. Yeah. Perfectly, perfectly no, valid. that's if you Christy, stand on one leg. What are your thoughts on standing against... Uh, a your hotel. Way, your will. <laughs> a hotel with a gun to your head. <laughs> a hotel window, like if you're like on the twelfth floor of a cool, uh -huh. and there's a good view. And you're both yeah, enjoying you're both, the view. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes or pro or con? That's kind of hot. Okay. Yeah. Right. What about uh, what about the gun thing? Remember Janice <laughs> on, on the Sopranos? Oh. What do you mean the gun? Oh. Thing? Richie, Richie would I hold the gun on her. That is really problematic. And she goes, no, no. He takes the clip out. <laughs> oh God. Good Lord. Yeah. Wow, that took a horrible. You make sure there's not one in the chamber it. too. That's, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I'm sorry. So uh, 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 the lady tries to slice someone up with a spork. Gets arrested. Yeah. Okay. I doubt she would do much damage with a spork. A plastic one would break, wouldn't it? We had a, a spork attack years ago that resulted in something fairly serious. Spork Ooh. attack. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll dig that. I'll see if I can if dig that. If you're going to eyeball you. somebody, maybe a spork is the best tool. Well, maybe. But other no, than that. Are you, are you using it out? Eye, eyeball <laughs> as a verb? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, um, I'm going to kneecap you, or I'm going to... My dad used to say, I'm going to brain you. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Sounds like very Three Stooges. -esque. That's exactly where he got it from. Okay, uh, uh, coming up, we have what, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, we have one of those great neighbor fights, only this one resulted in the use of dog feces. Neighbor um, fight, neighbor oh. fight, neighbor fight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take that. And I guess it's such a problem in the Bay Area that there is now a penalty for brunch vomiters. We'll have that go oh, we touched on that. That's so disgusting. Oh, did you already yeah. do that? I'm sorry. I won't. No, it's okay, but that, that is really gross. Yeah. No, okay, I, can't, I, can't, I didn't find the spork attack. I did find a, a guy... <laughs> Uh, chasing a guy with a sword, and the guy has uh, the other guy's armed with a plastic fork. I'll take the over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll see if we can find sword out about wins. that when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Like, uh, we got dumped. <laughs> no. Is there anything you'd like to say to them? Well, our girls have left us, so I'd like to say just one thing. Oh, yeah. Baby, blow me. Oh, a kiss as you're leaving. Blow me. Oh, a kiss right now. Because if you're going to leave me, honey, I will surely miss the way you blow me. Oh, blow me a kiss. Come on and blow, 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 blow me. A kiss like you, mama, mean it. Blow me. A k -k kiss right now. I really can't remember anything as hard as this. So blow me. Blow me a kiss. Wow. Some things in life are hard to swallow. She couldn't take it all, Dean. She couldn't handle everything. Oh, good. But if she comes back tomorrow. Kiss as you're leaving, baby. Blow me. Oh, a kiss as you go. And always think about me as you're going down your list. And blow me. Blow me a kiss. I'll miss her arms and her elbows. I'll miss her arms and her elbows. I'll miss her legs so tall. Yeah. I'll miss her legs so tall. I'll miss her neck and her shoulders. Yes, sir. But I'll miss her. You wanna come home, honey? 
that's okay. Just grab a hold of this, and baby, blow me, baby, won't you blow me, blow me a kiss. Oh, hi, Miss Melvin. Oh, Sally. I'll miss your arms and your elbows. Bob and Tom Band and Orchestra. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Jerry. Um, Oh, that's fantastic. Hey, what's going on, buddy? I don't feel like walking. I have lower back pain, some uh, foot discomfort. So you're just rolling around? Yeah. There are better options. You need to try orange insoles. Orange insoles? Yeah, check those out. Proper support for your feet. You're gonna have arch yeah. support. It's got that deep heel cup. These do feel better. All right. Who needs you? Not me. Orange insoles will help you feel better and do more guaranteed. Get your orange insoles today and step into a world of comfort. Tom, 24-7. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Good morning, Bob and Tom Show. Bonjour, Bob and Tom. <laughs> Hi. Hi, it's, it's, it's. It's Pepe Lascrotum. Yeah. Pepe Lascrotum, good morning, Hi, Pepe. Hi, Pepe. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> I heard you were talking about my old job. Your old job was? We oui, oui, collecting the non urine. Oh, oh yeah, the, the non urine used in these fertility drugs. Yes, yes, it was a terrible, terrible job, and I'm glad I no longer do it. Well, uh, why was it so bad? <laughs> well, you know, you have to go around, you know, collecting the urine. But I just wanted to call to tell you why they had to stop using it. Why? Well, it's a terrible, terrible thing. These babies. Uh huh. They were conceived and born with using the non urine. Uh huh. When they came out, they would not cry when they were spanked. They wouldn't? No. Why? Uh, you had to wrap them across the hands with a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Hey, Chick McGee. Uh huh. Yes, yes, Peppy. What are the only three words you need to know in French? Oh, I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, ho, ho, ho. Thank you, Peppy. Let's grow them. Au revoir. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike McRae, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Now, uh, Andy Hendrickson is the other voice you're hearing in the studio. Andy is a stand up comedian. You're a young guy. Yeah. He's a handsome guy. You, are you married? No, I'm single. Girlfriend or anything? No, none of that. It's, you know, it's well, you tough comedians on the really know how to get, <laughs> the, old, get the action. Like troubadours, I, Tom. They move from yeah. town to town. New woman in every port. Yeah, all Having my friends kids. are married. I I got more weddings on the docket this year. I got mm-hmm. a wedding on uh, Memorial Day, mm-hmm. another one on Labor Day. Mm-hmm. You guys have the friends like that. You're like, oh, great. Your love's so special. You get to wreck my three-day weekend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Maybe I'll have yeah. my funeral on the Super Bowl. How about that? <laughs> how about that? <laughs> I'll show you. Bring a snack. Uh, we're talking with uh, comedian Todd Glass. In a relationship, women look down the road, which is positive, but some women look too far down the road. I mean, they can't just take that moment for what it is. Like, I'm, I'm at a bar, and I ask this girl to dance. You know, she's like, oh, dance? Oh, sure, I'd like to dance. And we're done dancing. Maybe you go over there. You'll buy me a drink. I'll buy you a drink. A week later, we'll start calling each other. We'll get our machines. Then you'll get me. Then I'll get you. Then we go out on a date, and our friends say we're perfect with each other. So we have our first kiss. Then we decide we're going to get engaged. We get engaged. We have a beautiful wedding. After the wedding, we get back from our wedding. We set up an apartment together. Then we have a beautiful apartment. You get a promotion. I get a promotion. And we buy a big house. We have a house, white picket fence, dogs, two kids. Everything's going good. Then you're coming home from late at work. I go, why are you coming home late at work? You go, I'm in love with my secretary. Oh, your life is checked, and you want me to tell the kids we're gonna get divorced, and they don't have a father anymore? Dance? I don't think so, you <laughs> sick freak. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Calm. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, chick. He's a performer. Mm-hmm. Right. 
There's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's over there at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Yeah, we'll let you perform. What do you want to do? There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick <laughs> McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Well, speaking of Pat performing, yeah. uh, Mr. Mr. Godwin will be taking the stage, among many other places, Delphus, Ohio, Yep. with Mr. Jeff Oskey coming up Saturday, November 11th. At the uh, Knights, Knights of Columbus. Of Columbus. I was going to say, do they call it the KFC? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be something else. Uh, Three-piece uh, three me. While I'm at it, uh, you're at the Funny Bone in St. Charles, they, Missouri, they, coming up the 27th through the 28th of October, a Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Um, also, while I'm at it, it's going to be November 4th at the Ho-Chunk Casino, Wisconsin Dells. Mr. Oske, Mr. Godwin, and Willie G. All, uh, all doing a great live show. Uh, speaking of live shows, we're doing our show live, also from Wisconsin. That's coming up on the 17th of November. It's a Friday morning. We'll be there early at the North Star Mohican Casino in Bowler, Wisconsin. Where? Bowler, Wisconsin. I don't... I can't understand. Oh, Bowler! Got it. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, there's a, we're doing a couple of comedy shows that night. First one's already sold out. Details, North Star Casino Resort slash entertainment. We were talking about sporks. Yes. We had a case out of Louisiana in which a um, woman who apparently was having some kind of issue tried to allegedly stab a nurse with a spork. Correct. Um, I did a little bit of homework here, and I found another case involving a, uh, a spork. A sword-wielding robber was chased by a shop employee armed with a plastic spork. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no need to really go into the details of this one, but um, Dean found the uh, spork story that I was trying to find. Okay. We actually have the recording of uh, of this uh, story involving the uh, combination. What is it? The portmanteau. Is the fork and the spoon. Where the 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 the, the, the yeah the, well, the, huh? the 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 spoon and the, the fork become the, the spork. spork. Here's oh. the story. We have a huge uh, news story about sporks. I can't wait. Um, I still am a believer that we should have stainless steel sporks. Ugh, I hate sporks. <laughs> I love them. Why? Because it's two utensils in one. Yeah, I didn't neither think of which does a very good. I love Sorry, a spork. Bob, I'm... Okay, here we go. This is a Dateline Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage police have arrested a suspect in an armed robbery. He used a spork. Now they're trying to determine if the weapon involved was a spork. <laughs> a spork, of course, is a hybrid of a spoon and a fork. Mm -hmm. Police said a suspect tried to grab a man's watch. This was Monday night. The victim said the assailant swung a pocket knife at him. But four parallel scratches on the victim's side make police suspect the wound was administered with a spork. Police said Albert was intoxicated and was carrying a small pocket knife as well as a backpack containing a spork, a, a fast food bag and several sporks. Spork. Several sporks. He's currently being held in a jail. Isn't he in prail? That's a prison in jail. That's where uh, <laughs> kind of... Well... I thought that was jizzing. Uh, <laughs> you know it is Combination now. of jail and prison. <laughs> now that he's in prison, he's sitting on his vaginus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, a little portmanteau contest. Uh -huh. uh, make, uh, it was all very tidy, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Uh, Christy Lee is still at the news desk. She hasn't left yet. No, a Florida woman is facing a felony charge after she allegedly shoved dog feces into the face of her elderly neighbor. Ugh. According to a criminal complaint, the 28-year-old suspect, Miss Callie Robertson, got upset with the 76-year-old victim. Miss <laughs> Robertson claimed that she became upset with Mr. Daniel Powell because, quote, he would always speak with her while she walked her dog. Now, yeah. <laughs> what we don't know here is what he would say. Yes. <laughs> True. What got her so upset that... I don't know, but she allegedly got so upset she took an unsecured bag of dog feces and pushed it into the victim's face. Take that. Leaving feces smeared on his face and the bag on the ground. She was charged with battery. Ms. Robinson, Ms. Robertson said the 76-year-old victim uh, lives in a separate residence in a trailer park, but is a neighbor. Okay. Wow. Well, on a positive note, yeah, she was picking we... up after her dog. I think we have to look at it, though. Sure. I yeah. want to know what he was saying. It could be awful. Yeah. So maybe he, maybe the man deserved it. Hmm. We don't Ugh. know. We don't know. Ugh. So how did she not get it all over her fingers? 
She must. She you think she still has the bag? She still has the bag. And, on the other side of her. Uh, yeah. You know, how to, you know that. You're an expert. Oh, yeah. I can I can tie a bag off with two dogs fighting <laughs> in, a, in the dark with the cars coming at me. <laughs> 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 right. Do we do it all the time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can, th- I can throw them, too. You throw your, tr- you don't take them home and put them in the trash? No, but when I get home, I throw them through the back garage door. Okay. That's got to be a fun little game for you. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. To get I, into the, the, the wastebasket? Yeah, there's a human door. I've got a special... A human door? <laughs> not, not a human door. Yeah, you know, I'm, human I'm, door. I'm trying, them in a human trying, door. trying to keep them fresh. Boy, this is a terrible with cigar. The, with, the, with the ready to smoke. <laughs> uh, the, the human door that goes out of the back of the garage. Oh, okay. I'll prop that open so when I get back, I can heave them on the porch there, and then I can later on go put them in that container thing. Okay. Yep, that sounds like something you'd do at home, all right? Yep. Complicated. Not needed. No, oh, yeah, clean Why up. Why didn't you just walk by and put them in the trash? Several things. Because I've got two dogs on leashes, or at least two, sometimes three, and I can't get through the door with the. F- and there's a fan there that I've got. <laughs> <laughs> but just Boy, to, just to increase the degree of difficulty of a fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Police in Nebraska have arrested a funeral home worker for allegedly using a sex doll in the home of the deceased person. Here we go. Uh, this was. Oh. This story is so awful. A 41-year-old was dispatched to an apartment in Omaha to collect the body of the deceased residents where he found the life-sized sex doll. <laughs> well, they won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> Later that day, the property manager reported hearing noises coming from the apartment oh. and later saw the suspect leaving with his clothes disheveled. Hello. The 41-year-old was arrested on a burglary charge, though more charges are possible as officials plan to collect DNA samples from the doll. Sick. Now, are they going to get... Won't the decedent sample be in there, too, theoretically? Possibly. There could be some residue, yeah. Uh, How about that? I, the, the, the deeper question here is, well, first of all, he didn't steal the sex doll. He he went back to the apartment. Yeah. So um, why didn't he just take a body bag? This The guy's in the business of transporting bodies. Why didn't he just take a body bag, put the sex doll on that, and take that out? Wouldn't it look suspicious that he had two bodies coming out of the department? Oh, he might have been a two for Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's two for Tuesday. Happy uh, two for Tuesday. I fear that the sex doll is merely a gateway for the Yeah, that's the other thing. I mean, funeral if, worker, uh, if you know what I mean. I mean, uh, if you think, could it have been worse? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, boy, God. oh, boy. <laughs> that this is not helping the creepy stereotype. No, I have no. Thankfully, I don't have uh, any interest in sleeping with a sex doll. Uh, However, um, boy, where was I going with this? Before? I don't know. I, don't you have a full size? That lie I just told threw me off. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you have a full sized? Oh, oh no! I, my point was, uh, you have a full size doll. So I don't want to use a brand new one, let alone a. Somebody else's? Yeah, that's... Man. Ugh. He has a full-size Jason? Chucky, right? Oh, yeah, but that's your... Oh. That's, that's like essentially a store mannequin that I dressed up. Okay, oh, I see. Or okay. no, Orify. So these... But well, these sex dolls, aren't the... I mean, I, I don't have one, but aren't the um, uh, uh, various <laughs> genitalia... Oh. It's Aren't they all dishwasher safe? I don't uh, know. Some, I'm never... Isn't that the whole thing you Some take? say they are removable and you can clean them, yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of awkward. Your mom comes over. You, I'm gonna load the dishwasher, sweet. Don't. Uh. Don't. Wait a second. What's the Vagitron six thousand? Um, mom, you'll never know. <laughs> the Vagitron. It's Vagitron. It peels <laughs> carrots. Slices. Uh, <laughs> this is so creepy. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's really oh, something. Oh God. I guess. Well, I mean, think of it. Now, how about this guy's family when they go to, oh. you know. Oh, the decedent's family? So they go, oh, my gosh, he had a sex doll. That but then aren't thing. they going to take it for evidence? <laughs> well, I don't think they need it. I mean, Maybe. do they just take a swab? I don't know, yeah, Tom. They might just shake it over a, <laughs> over a baggie. <laughs> here, Muld- shake Muldoon. Shake for me, girl. Muldoon, hold it up. I've got the baggie right oh, here. It sure is. Oh. Hit it on the head. It'll look oh. like a ketchup bottle. Yuck. <laughs> Right now, I want to talk about a friend of ours. He is the great comedian Bill Burr. And uh, coming I have up, been looking forward to this movie for like about six weeks since I first heard about it. We talked with Bill on the air about this quite a while ago. He was working on it then. 
Um, it's October 20th, and you've got a date with your old dad. Old Dad's is a new comedy from comedian Bill Burr. He wrote it and directed it. And it's uh, got um, uh, Bobby Cannavale and uh, Bokeem Woodbine. And Old Dad's will have you laughing. And um, once again, it's uh, October 20th is where you'll find Old Dads exclusively on Netflix. Once again, coming October 20th. And uh, it's about um, something I can relate to, which is being a dad of a certain age. And uh, as you know, Bill Burr is also in that position. So um, you're going to have a great time watching it. Once again, Old Dads, Netflix, October 20th with, uh, with our friend Bill Burr. Bobby Cannavale and uh, Bokeem Woodbine all playing old dads. Once again, on Netflix exclusively on October 20th. Uh, Christy Lee, I know you got to take off. Oh, I'll uh, be here for a few minutes, I guess. Well, I got to stay through Bob Zaney. I don't want to miss Bob Zaney. God, I gave you an out. <laughs> and you. <laughs> You know, sometimes in the show, Josh, you, yeah. you try to spoon feed him. Exactly. Look the horse right in the mouth. Yeah, just, you, you, can, you can get out. It's easy. you got a good excuse. But no. Bob Zaney. I'm Bob looking forward Zaney. to talking with Bob. We'll talk yeah. with Bob Zaney in oh, just a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Got a shirt in my closet. I wear it from time to time. Autographed by Bob. Uh, what about the Blow Jovian guy? Was, was the, the, I think it was one of the Blow Jovians. Was this the Mad Armenians? Was this <laughs> Might have been Bluto Blow Jovian. And, and, and the Mad Armenians. Do we have everybody out there? I can't see. Um, do we need Chick? Okay. Do we need Chick? Do we, need we do need yes, Chick. We do. For oh, this we next tune, okay. we're going to need oh. the Chickster. Oh. Yeah, there's a little vocalizing from uh, everyone on this one. Oh, that's this one. Oh, this yes. one, yeah. Okay. That song. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you all got to get out there. No, no we not can, everybody. We can sing from in here. And ready? And ready? We're ready. Okay. You're fed up. Wait a minute. This is called. Dear Penthouse, I'm a freshman at a small Midwestern university. And I never thought something like this could happen to me. My teacher with the dynamite ass Asked me to stay after her class And she started to undress Can't forget the statement she made If you drop your pants, I'll raise your grade Oh. 
<laughs> Doing sports on the radio has always been my job. I never wanted a man until I noticed Bob. His laugh fills me with desire. His bun set my loins on fire. And I dream about the day he says, Chick, let's get undressed. <laughs> uh, name and address held withheld upon request. <laughs> Whoa. Classic. Well, I, screwed up I screwed up the damn My withheld God. name and address. Nice, nice job, Chick. Nice job. <clears throat> That's it. And I even rehearsed yesterday. I did rehearse. <laughs> you did? That's with rehearsal. <laughs> Thank God you rehearsed. Think how horrible it would have been. <laughs> it was and I still not get the... You oh did a great job. So wait, let's nice. do it again. One, no, two, two, three. three. No. <laughs> Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Hey, it's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Big Skin Pick. I'm powered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hi, Chick. He's thinking about performing. Yeah. Actually performed yet, but boy, he's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of thinking about it. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. And we are going to be joined by uh, comedian Bob Zaney. Here it comes. Uh, Bob Zaney is... Uh, Going to be on tour once again. By the way, he has a uh, dry bar comedy special that has uh, already garnered some 6.4 million views. Well, that must be a bookkeeping error. <laughs> that can't be that many people. Um, we may or may not have Bob. Bob, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, oh, there Tom. You go. And thank you, thank you, Chick, for that uh, show of support. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot of people, Bob. Six it, million. It is a lot of people. Chick, let's face it. I'm Bob Zaney, okay? Yes. Okay. All right. I think we all have to face it. You're right. How are you, Bobby? Huh? Hello? <laughs> I, I, Hello? I, 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 I don't want to step on Tom. I always get in trouble. That was Josh. I step on you, Tom. You're okay. Uh, coming up uh, starting this Wednesday through Saturday, um, it'll be uh, Bob Zaney at the Laugh Factory in Covina, California. Am I getting that right, Bob? Yes, you are. I grew up in West Covina, and they say you can't come home again, so that's why I'm in Covina. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, and then also coming up, uh, it'll be uh, Friday and Saturday at the Cat Theater in Carmel, Indiana. All right. With that's Bob. right. The, and Carmel. And, and by the way, in California, they pronounce it Carmel. And it's always kind of weird for me. And I got Dave Dugan's opening for me on Friday night. So it's going to be a great show then and also Saturday. All cool. right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Bob. What's on your mind these days? Well, I've just been busy, Tom. I've been all over the place. Uh, my YouTube channel, we're, we're finding gems, as they say in the business, oh. of past performances. Mm -hmm. I have, you know, I'm a pack rat, right? Remember mm -hmm. we once talked about I saved all my uh, boarding passes from all the flights? <laughs> yes. Well, I've saved every uh, performance almost that I've done. So we're finding great clips and showing that on my official Bob Zaney channel on YouTube. And by the way, you guys got a great YouTube channel, too. I love it. Thank the you. Bob Zaney channel. Well, that's nice to know, Bob. Well, it's the official Bob Zaney channel. The only reason why I say that, over the years, people have posted stuff that uh, I didn't post. So now I need to streamline that as they say in the business and again i'm not really in the business as much <laughs> okay well um now uh, what else is new in your life uh you're you're living in las vegas 
still Las Vegas. It's going great here. Uh, today it's going to be 90, so it's uh, oh. really kind of bomby. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of people, the sphere is the big thing. I can see it from my front door. You Have you guys talked about Yeah, the this is yeah. And you're, is U2 during a, the, U2, the band, doing a residency there at this point? What's happening exactly? Yes, they are. And the interesting thing is it's so much going on inside the sphere. People don't even know they're there. Uh, and it's much like when I do my show. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't know I'm there. Josh, you understand that, right? I, uh, that's that's what I experience every time as well. So what is inside the Thank sphere you. besides a, a, a theater? It's just giant screen. A of- it's a, a fully immersive experience. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's kind of like you're in a, a different world. Uh, Pat would know that more because he's in the performance studio. Uh, <laughs> Pat, how long have you had the COVID where you have to stay at the performance? I've had it for four years now, Bob. <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> You can't. It's the long COVID, as they call it. Uh-huh. But, of course. Uh, but I love Las Vegas. I'm going to be at Brad Garrett's at uh, Christmas week, so right up to Christmas Eve oh. at the MGM Grand. So, you know, Pat, uh, not Pat, I'm sorry, Brad and I go way back. Uh-huh. Uh, we started out at the Ice House in Pasadena in 1980 together, and he went on to bigger and better things, and I'm calling in right now. <laughs> uh-huh. We've talked to Brad. He's, he's a great guy. I'm a big fan. He's a great guy. I'm just saying. I'm trying to put things in perspective, Tom. That's what I do. <laughs> and I also do the Zany Report. By the way, Dry Bar has 10 episodes of the Zany Report that we filmed in front of a studio audience, me behind a desk, and it's kind of cool. I, I really, I'm proud of that project, so oh. people can check that out, too. I didn't realize you were in front of a studio audience. You can't Hear them. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Well, I'm just... I think... <laughs> well, no, 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 it's fine. I, it's it's man. good to know that Chick... It's good to know Chick's writing for you again. <laughs> hey, I see how it is. I insult him, yeah, and he insults you. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. I can... I can... It, what happened? It, yeah. <laughs> Bobby, you know I, I love I you. Come in, I call this show just to learn about ventriloquism. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... Bob, uh, I got a Zany report if you want me to yeah. I was just going to ask if you have a Zany report. Go ahead. What have you got? Well, a study shows half of adults have purchased old toys that they weren't able to have as children. Mm. Uh, just what we need. Alec Baldwin with lawn darts and clackers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, you're not going to let him get away with it, are you? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> right here. I... I, I I'd be admiss if I didn't talk about Las Vegas. Here's a story that happened here. A man was shot in the jaw during an alleged robbery. Mm. Now, his injury was not life-threatening, and he described the shooter as... (laughs) (laughs) I bet he did. (laughs) Now it's time for the... Yes. The question of the week. Okay. Are you guys ready? Go ahead. Have to yeah. put the thinking caps on. All right. Can a bisexual say, I wouldn't have it any other way? <laughs> huh. mm. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you never... And a report wouldn't be the same without good news, bad news, you guys. Okay, There's go ahead. Good news and bad news. Here's the bad news. A New York federal judge dismissed a lawsuit that accused McDonald's and Wendy's of misleading consumers of the size of their burgers. Mm. That's the bad news. The good news is he will allow a suit against Subway claiming that their one inch is really a six inch. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's hoping to perpetuate a lie there. <laughs> Here's some more good news, bad news, you guys. Here's the bad news. Is a 10, 11 year old brother and sister ran away from home and drove 200 miles in their mother's car because she took away their cell phones. Oh. The good news is they weren't cited for texting and driving. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have their phones. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, Tom, this is my favorite feature. This is called the Zane Report time capsule. As you know, I've been doing the Zane <laughs> Report, of course, on this show since 1997, but also goes back to the KLOS days in 1980s. So uh, this is where we revisit a joke. I go back in time at great uh, risk to my health, (laughs) and I'll do it because I care about my health. (laughs) (laughs) This is going back in time. Yeah, this is rewind. (laughs) (laughs) The COVID years. Pat, you can relate. Oh, I can. It's June 2nd, 2015, Dateline, Seattle. A driver lost control of his SUV and drove into the front lobby of a Comfort Inn. 
Mm. No one was hurt because the quick thinking clerk said, check in's not till three. <laughs> <laughs> have some, uh, God, we've all <laughs> have some trouble, Bob. Yeah, we, we've all been there, Bob. <laughs> I, I do, I do have a piece of advice for people because, as you know, you go on the road, you go to these different hotels all the time. When they say your room's not ready, just say, "How about one that is." <laughs> I bet they love. And guess what? They have one. Uh huh. Uh, that's great. They always have one, and that's just the way. Because I've stayed at bad motels. I I was staying at uh, the El Morocco in Las Vegas. I, I've talked about this. It. No longer there. Uh, their slogan was "This place was great in '88." Wow. 1888. <laughs> we actually I, stayed there once. As you stay at the El Morocco? Yes, as a family, the it was like nineteen. I want to say seventy, maybe wow. seventy two. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it was probably nicer back then. Ugh. I stayed there in the late eighties when we perform at the Riviera at the Improv, and uh, they said the rooms were superior. I know why they called it the El Morocco. I went into my room; it smelled like a camel took a poop. <laughs> <laughs> You should have known when you and, and, rang the bell at the front desk and it went, dung. <laughs> well, Tom, you're not going to believe this, but at, when I was checking in once at the front desk, a cockroach fell from the ceiling and fell onto my registration card. And without missing the beat, the clerk said, go ahead, kill it. <laughs> wow. All right. And I said, is this part of the fun casino package? <laughs> so, uh, and they're old they're old school motels, you know. It yep. was an old school motel. Uh the uh the I went into my had the magic fingers next to the bed, you know that? The magic fingers. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well it turned out yeah, it was a homeless guy living underneath the bed. <laughs> you, you handed him a quarter. <laughs> no, I hate ha- it's funny you should say that. I think that was Josh. Uh, I hated putting a quarter in a slot. Look, the point is, oh. <laughs> he had a slot. But the thing is, because it's Vegas, there's slots everywhere. Yeah. But the thing is, the uh, and the bathroom, it had that strip across the toilet, the paper strip. It mm-hmm. said, for your protection, mm. I'd hold it in. <laughs> We're looking after you. Okay, well, thank you. Bob Zaney, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Zaney, uh, once again, uh, he's got his official Bob Zaney channel on YouTube, and his dry bar comedy special has had 6.4 million plus views. You can check that out also. The Laugh Factory in Covina coming up this week in the 27th and 28th, the Cat Theater in Carmel, Indiana. Thanks, Bob. I'm very excited about that. Thank you, Tom, on the Twitter at Bob Zaney. Bay, bay. All right. All right, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Oh, it was very good, very good. <laughs> um, wow. <clears throat> sure about that uh, charity auction where they were auctioning all the stars were doing all that stuff? I, I was wondering how that came out. I don't know. You know, you all the, you could, uh, like the cast of Bob's Burgers would sing a song for oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Adam Scott was going to walk your dog. And- oh, hmm. Alec Baldwin was going to give you shooting target oh. lesson. Oh, oh, oh that's right. I pulled the trigger. I forgot. No, no, but you joke about it. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's my fault. Need to that be punished. Your, was no, your, nothing funny. Your <laughs> I do have the man who admits to stealing the Wizard of Oz ruby slippers in the news today. Oh yeah. A 76 year old man has pleaded guilty to stealing a pair of slippers Judy Garland wore in the Wizard of Oz. Guilty. They were taken in 2005 from the Judy Garland Museum in the late actor's hometown of Grand Rapids, Minnesota, but recovered in 2018. No one was arrested until Terry John Martin was charged earlier this year. Oh, really? He has since pleaded guilty to a single count of theft of a major artwork. How many cellmates did he request? (laughs) 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 Martin said he used a hammer to smash the glass of the museum door. What's his name again? Terry John Martin. Terry Twinkle Toes Martin. <laughs> Martin said he used a hammer to smash the glass of the museum door and display case to take the slippers. Said he thought the slippers had real rubies and that he'd hoped to sell the gems. I used a hammer and there's a picture of him holding a screwdriver. <laughs> he, he wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, this, this sounds like a, a really dumb. When a fence told him the defense. rubies were glass, he said he got rid of the slippers. 
Martin did not say how he got rid of them or to whom he gave them, leaving the slippers' whereabouts during the ensuing years a mystery. The FBI has never disclosed how it tracked down the slippers, which remain in the agency's custody. Hmm. I don't buy his explanation. What do you think he did with them? Yeah. You're, I think he was... I, think he was suspicious. I don't know always. where they are. <laughs> he was probably trying to... He would know that they're worth a lot more than the value of rubies on a foot. They look like garbage. Have you? I saw them at the Smithsonian. I saw them, too. They were icky they're, looking. They're so old well, looking. Yeah. They're almost 100 <laughs> you, you are right. You but are man, correct. They, I think uh, they... Uh, yeah. Okay, well... Um, Touch them up a little bit. <laughs> give, him a, give him a wipe. Well, razzle dazzle. <laughs> this guy goes to jail. We'll discover there is no place like home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he's getting, uh, we may not be in Kansas anymore, <laughs> but I sure am in you. His <laughs> <laughs> oh. helmet has a, he's a witty man. Uh, putting the ass in Kansas. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the Oregon Humane Society adopted a Taylor Swift theme for its annual Pug Crawl, a fashion show for the wrinkly, short-muzzled dogs. Portland area pugs and their owners gathered Saturday at Level Beer in Northwest Portland for Pug Crawl, hmm. Taylor's version. The fashion show featured hundreds of pugs walking the pink carpet runway in Taylor Swift-inspired outfits. Hmm. Um, I did see the movie. Yeah. Uh, it's very, very well done. It and with it's just the concert. There's not a lot of backstage stuff. It's um, incredibly well filmed, and the audio is great. Cool. She is amazing, and the theaters are encouraging people to jump up and dance and sing. So it was really it's kind of got a Rocky horror feel already, hmm. and it was in, it was very successful. Very over the cult like is what you're saying. No, just fun. You know, you don't you don't have to just sit there and observe. You can. Did you I get didn't. up and dance? No, I was. Uh, I had. I had. Was Why there with on my phone. I was there with many, many little Play girls Myrtle. and their friends. Give yeah. them a treat. Do the do the frug for yeah. them. Yeah. Why do you do the Freddy? Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, I got bad blood. <laughs> or whatever. Right? Do the Freddy. So. Uh, we got it, 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 blood. And then there was a whole big thing about what was the Saturday Night Live thing, chick. Uh, just Travis and Taylor uh, showed up, and uh, they were doing a, uh, a, a sketch where they were all on the NFL on Fox. They were doing a pregame show, and they were saying, yeah, this uh, Taylor Swift thing is out of control. Let's go to our uh, reporter live on the scene, and it was uh, Travis Kelsey. And he goes, yeah, this is out of control. I wish they'd leave those two kids alone. Oh. Uh, big laughs. And then, <laughs> and then uh, the only thing I saw Taylor in was she introduced uh, Ice, Ice Spice. Spice, and that yeah. was it, yeah. Ice Spice? Is Ice Spice uh She's a rapper. rapper. Oh, okay. But she's not anything to do with... They, uh, did, a, they did a song together. The, uh, spice. Nothing to do with the Spice Girls? Nothing to do with the Spice People. Or with Vanilla Ice or... <laughs> a lot of ice out there. Yeah. Oh, boy, there's a ton of ice. <laughs> yeah. You know what? In the future, there, there are some things that, that you don't have to comment on. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is it. Maybe you would know her from the Dunkin' Donuts commercial. Oh, that's who that is with yeah. Ben Affleck? Yeah. I was I watched that and I do not know who he's talking to, but I'm I'm an old man. You're an old man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy, oh, that global warming is something. I'll tell you. <laughs> you guys know it's getting bad out there, right? That's me. And yeah, Vanilla Ice has changed his name to Vanilla Puddle. Oh. That's you know what I mean. Me uh. and Gary, we're all old men. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, a couple Vanilla sad Puddle. Notes in entertainment news. I'll Josh, kill all of you. Josh was not aware <laughs> that Suzanne Somers had passed away after a 23-year battle with cancer. Oh, that's a shame. She wow. died a day before her 77th birthday. A horrible I think. person, right? No, she no, was great. She was a wonderful she person. Was, she was What's funny. wrong with you? It was a good show. She uh, made a she, ton she of money her. off that Come eye mask. on Hell's Door. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for wow. you. Boy, yeah. she, I don't think she deserves this at all. No. no. It's awful. She, she doesn't. Emmy, does she win an Emmy for any of her acting? Is there, other, is there more? The, she's the sheriff? <laughs> You know what? I stand corrected. <laughs> Wasn't didn't she make hundreds of millions with thigh masks? Oh hell yeah, she, she did, to, yeah. and a lot of other products her and her husband were involved in. Yeah, she but did. she was probably she also was in the George Lucas film American Graffiti. She the she's the she's, she's in the, the blonde car, in yeah. the Corvette. Yeah. Oh yeah, with the two boobs and the oh gosh. legs and, yeah, and, and she, Piper uh, Lori passed gave away. Lucas a handy to get that Piper Lori from Carrie. Yes, they're all gonna laugh at you. Is what? 
That's what she mom, said. Oh, that. really, Mom? Yeah. Watch, yeah, Mom. Watch me while I think this knife into your head. <laughs> <laughs> Sing. What a hell of a performance. Chick, she were you was with nominated me? for an Oscar for Were that. you with me at the convention when I go, oh, there's... I Piper. didn't. I don't think I did see. I saw. Okay. I was at Michael. Mac, it was Michael McDonald. I saw yeah. him. Yeah. You saw her at a convention, Piper Laurie. Yeah, she was at one of the horror conventions. Oh. Yeah. A wow. horror convention. What? No, she was an actress. Don't you say <laughs> that? Horror. Right. She just passed away. Christy, next time, just hand me a piece of paper. And I'll, <laughs> I'll read about the sad things and just keep them to myself. Uh, but right now, she was Boy, a great actress. Did you hear Suzanne Somerville? Time oh. to check in. Sorry, with, I brought it up. Uh, wonderful woman. The fall grilling season has arrived, which can mean but one thing, and that is. Omaha steaks are here, juicy and ready to cook. What have you got over there, John? That's right. Crisp mornings, falling leaves, sweater weather. That's what we're uh, mm -hmm. dealing with now and happy to do so. More importantly, it's the perfect time for fall grilling, tailgating, all that cozy comfort food. Omaha Steaks has all your fall cravings covered with 50% off site-wide. It's their semi-annual sale. 50% off all your favorite tender, juicy, extra-age steaks like that butcher's cut filet mignon. My gosh, so tender, so delicious. Go to omahasteaks.com today. Use code BTS at checkout. Get an extra 30 bucks off your order. With Omaha Steaks, the possibilities are endless, my friends. Flavor, endless value, incredible entrees, scrumptious sides, decadent desserts like those caramel apple tartlets that brown up so wonderfully in the oven, and so much more. All of that, 50% off. It's the semi-annual sale. Every bite is backed by Omaha Steaks' 100% unconditional money-back guarantee. Visit omahasteaks.com. Shop all your delicious favorites for half the price. Don't forget, promo code BTS. Put that in at checkout for an extra $30 off. This semi-annual sale is only for a limited time, so hurry up. Minimum purchase may apply. Visit omahasteaks.com for details. Omaha Steaks, perfect fall food. Ah, uh, delicious. Don't forget, by the way, they'd go great with a beer, and a kegerator is the way to serve it. How can you win that kegerator right over there, that refrigerator that holds a keg with the tap on top? Well, go to bobandtom.com slash contest. It's from Orange Insole. Check it out right now. Orange Insoles presents the Kegerator. And this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? And my back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look. Nothing. Ah. Uh. Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, Orange Insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get Orange Insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to Orange Insoles, I feel great. Terrific. Give See you a... later. <laughs> Orange Insoles. Feel better, do more. Uh, now, uh, what's this next tune? Well, this is a love song, baby. Oh. You know when you love somebody, but you don't get it back. It's a, it's about a girl that uh, did not return her. She already had another love. Oh. And it's actually a song about that other love of hers. I can't stop thinking about her, baby. Mm. Here we go.
as much thanks to Tax Preparation H Incorporated. <laughs> Tax Preparation H Incorporated. We're just itching to oh. do your return. <laughs> Tax Preparation H Incorporated. <sighs> hey, and if you want, we'll even tell Uncle Sam to shove it up his <laughs> Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. And you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. And then the thing between your the frenulum, back frenulum. door and your, your what? genitalia um, is the perineum. Is that what it is? Perineum? Perineum. perineum. Okay. Perineum. perineum. Just refer to it as the... That's like an azalea. In slang, can we use the word taint instead of the, the taint, back of course. door? <laughs> My husband calls it the beach. The beach. <laughs> really? You know, you can almost hear. <laughs> hey, there's a little picnic at the beach. Yeah, why does he know. call it the beach? I don't know. Why. That little area down there is the you beach. You mean he goes, oops, I hit the beach. <laughs> is that what he says? No, wow. when we, we've we talked he, uh, about this subject before. Does he, like he it, said, does he like it when you're on the beach? Does he like you to. <laughs> he likes it on the beach. That, you know, you he lives in it? a different century you than play me, with his so. beach? No, I'm he just saying that's what he calls beach. that area. And what? Beach. how does that come up in conversation, the general? <laughs> Pass the salt, by the way, my beach itches. <laughs> uh, what, All right, uh, man, let's hit the beach. <laughs> yeah. Rick Schrader is our guest, uh, and uh, Rick is uh, on his, uh, well, frankly, you're on your second marriage. I don't know if I should bring this up. Yes, but. yes, I am. Maybe men and women living together is just too much anyway. I think, you know, it's just too much pressure. I think men and women should live around the corner from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Much yeah. better let you call each other up every morning. Hello, you being a jerk? Yes, I am. Click. Right? That's you. <laughs> Go to a movie, you know, instead of uh -huh. getting up every morning and spinning the big pain wheel. Today's mind game, vague remarks about your failures at work. Hey, all right, you know. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, at 10. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Pat Godwin in the performance studio. Hello, Chick. Hello, there's Josh Arnold. Hello. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. Got the kegerator, uh, which I'm learning about. Uh, the kegerator is that refrigerator over there with a special uh, hookup. It's a nice So you can, uh, what is it now? It's a nice one. It is nice. And it's from Orange Insoles. And they want you to get involved with the kegerator by winning it. 
How about that? You go to bombatom.com slash contest, and you could be winning that kegerator. Details are posted when you go there. It's that simple. Uh, now, we have a number of other things I wanted to get to, including a few shows coming up out there. Uh, the Funny Bones, St. Charles, Missouri, Pat Godwin, October 27th and 28th. Also, the Ho-Chunk Casino in the Wisconsin Dells with uh, Patty G, Willie G, and Jeff Oske. And then lastly, Mr. Godwin is going to be at the Knights of Columbus, Delphus, Ohio, with Mr. Oske, Saturday, November 11th. All these live comedy shows on the way. And we've got our big show the 17th of November, a couple of them. I'll be telling you about that a little bit later on. I can assure you that the morning show will be fun. The evening shows will be... Ah, Fist fight, Phil. Tired. <laughs> Fist fight. Full of, uh, Friday, November 17th. Say it again. Say North, it again. North, Wham! North Star <laughs> Mohican Casino Resort. Uh, outside of um, Stevens Point, Wisconsin, in a place called uh, Bowler, Wisconsin. Oh, thank you very much. That's Wait right. Wait a minute. Oh, there's another strike. He just thanked himself. Uh, this portion of the Bob and Tom show features... Today in history... October 16th, 0000. zero, zero, zero. See if you know this one. All right. 1921, Jim Councilman and Frank Coughlin. Do you remember I what believe happened? It, I believe it's Jim Councilman. Hmm. <laughs> what did Councilman and Kaufman do? Jim took over as coach of the Rock Island Independence from Frank, the only mid game coaching change in NFL history. Really? Mid-game? Mid -game. Wow. Wow. There have been some. Man. I'm not sure who the first one will fall this season. Uh, uh, boy, I I don't know. Sean Payton is not doing very well, that's for sure, but he's gotten a lot of money, and hmm. the Walmart guys can do that for quite a while. Uh, so on that, that happened on this date in 1921. Um, a friend of the show, Rick Dees, had his hit with Disco Duck. Disco Duck! 1976, <laughs> Rick and his cast of Idiots. Disco, um, Disco Duck. Oh, geez, we're going to need something here. I forgot about this. Baby Jessica <laughs> was rescued from the well on this date. Oh, that was, that was big 1987. TV. Wow, yeah. Now, do you want to describe the story real quick, Josh? Yes, a tiny a toddler, baby Jessica, fell into a well. And, How old was uh, she, like two or three? They, they or? were trying to rescue her for days. She was essentially just in a narrow pipe. and Tiny. Yeah. I remember uh, they had huge lights because it was a nighttime mm -hmm. yeah. rescue yeah. Uh, when they actually pulled her out, wasn't it? Yeah, a famous story. and uh, yeah, All over the news, all over live TV. Really. So we had an update on that story years later. And yeah. this, here, here it is. We got do you remember the dramatic rescue of baby Jessica when she fell down the well? Remember she was yeah. 18 months old? Yeah. Believe it or not, baby Jessica is a baby no longer. She was married over the weekend. No kidding. She is now 19 years old, and she apparently tied the knot Saturday at a rural church outside Midland, Texas. Hmm. She's 19. Her husband, 32-year-old Daniel Morales. I bet they're on city walk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chick, I forgive you for everything you've ever done. <laughs> That's right. I believe she's now, I believe, whoop, wait a minute. Yeah, you're wrong. I'm on? Okay, the light's broken. I believe she's uh, now divorced, actually. Yeah, so, they got uh, divorced. Okay, the, the, this, yeah. it's a shame. Typical. Um, now, where was I? Oh, um, that was 1987. Happy birthday. Uh, here's one for you, Josh. This is this is the second slow pitch of the day for Josh. Uh, okay. Okay, ready? We'll see what he does with it. Happy birthday, Noah Webster, 1758. Uh, he created the Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> and, 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 um... Before he came along, the, we used the word thing a lot. <laughs> yeah, yes. Give yes. me that thing over there on the thing. Didn't you go to Webster University? I did, yeah. Yeah, not, I, I it was not Noah Webster University. I, I don't know who was named. It was Emmanuel. Emmanuel Lewis, yes. Emmanuel he was Lewis. our, <laughs> he was our dean. Uh, Webster. <laughs> Webster Universe. Happy birthday, Oscar Wilde, 1854. His mm. middle name is, isn't that... Why? <laughs> Bobby Weir, Grateful Dead, 1947. Happy birthday. Shave your beard. Uh, <laughs> what'd you say? <laughs> he's hair, he's too hairy. You don't, like the, you don't like the big mustache and the beard on no, Bob Weir? He looks like Santa Claus. Uh, David Zucker from Airplane, Naked Gun, Top Secret, born in the state in 1947. Uh, one of the funniest movies of all time, Airplane. And there's now a book out about it. You know what you owe yourself? Go watch uh, Police Squad again, the, the TV show that, that 
Boy, that's funny. Yes, so funny. It's really, really funny. Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Happy birthday. Isn't his name like Perry Nolan or something? Or I, I, he's the great bass player. I uh, know Dickie Ward. or <laughs> And John Mayer, the great guitarist and singer. Uh, All right. 1977. And uh, time now for... That's uh, uh, things we learned today. Uh, Orangeinsouls.com. Uh, you can register to win the kegerator we're giving away. How do I do that, Tom? You go on bobandtom.com? Uh, yeah, you can go to bobandtom.com slash contest. Thank That's you, right. Orange Insoles. It's a beautiful kegerator, and you can be in your living room. Bob. Josh you... claims no foot odor and takes his shoes off on I know. the airline. I know it's shocking. You, I, you look at me, you go, that guy has foot odor. I don't. I don't know how. I don't. The ass from his... <laughs> the cloud from his ass covers up. <laughs> Maybe you have no sense of smell. <laughs> um, that's right. Everybody should believe in miracles. Uh, Tom loves it. Hot chocolate was our featured act today. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey on us Saturday Night Live. But they're not dating. Uh, they're not dating. Ace is, contends they're still making out hot and heavy. <laughs> and, uh, coming up, uh, fire juggling, plate spinning, clowning, and uh, flag football. <laughs> the Olympics in L.A. in 28. Okay, good. Uh, thank you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Think you know your pro football? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at bobandtom.com slash contest. It's your chance to win a Minimax Big